let us enter into the information and communication technology revision with a quick single liners. Right, I hope everything is properly visible. You took the subscription today, great. So, kindly hit a like button for the attendance so that I can start without late. Attendance, please. What is the full form of this CD ROM? CD ROM, compact disk read only memory. Compact disk read only memory comes under the CD ROM. Compact disk read only memory. This is a secondary memory. All right. So, this will be a secondary memory. This is a secondary memory. And the multimedia, multimedia name itself is again multi more than one, more than two also. Media, more than uh, two medias are included. That is text, audio, video, all are included in this uh, multimedia. Where we will use text, audio, video or comes under the multimedia type of communication, which is part of over here. And here, and here information and communication technology, ICT comprised of online learning, learning through mobile application also and web-based learning, not a not only just online learning doesn't mean by using internet. Yes, by using internet and communication is also most important. We are using a technology and communication put together that is online learning and whether it is a mobile application like an academy learning app or an academy.com website. E-commerce companies require a personal data to serve the stakeholders better and in this process privacy may get compromised by if any e-commerce website like Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal, all this, Mintra, all those whenever they are taking a personal data to serve the stakeholders in a better manner, there you can give the data. They may or may not misuse your personal data. But here, the customers, whoever is providing a personal data, their privacy is getting compromised. Their privacy is at a risk because they are sharing the personal detail with them. Right? So, next is that, Python is a programming language like a, a Python and C, C++, Java, Oracle, all these are programming languages examples. Full form of the BIOS that is basic input output system. This is a regular previous year question which is being asked by regular previous year question which is being asked. Right. So, next computer hardware consists of a monitor and a CPU, not only just a monitor, CPU, keyboard, even camera, the, a, a, any device which is connected via cables is comes under the hardware part. Via cables that is pa part of the monitor, CPU, even keyboard, mouse, camera, everything externally connected is part of the hardware component. Right. Next, data visualization method is a pie chart and bar chart. Pie chart is a circle where the data is represented in this form. And bar chart is like this, where the x-axis, y-axis will be there. So, this is data representation or data interpretation. How the data can be showed while interpreting, that comes under here. And nowadays, many online courses are available and their popularity is increasing, obviously. Due to the COVID, it is more and more now. And uh, selecting a right course from such a uh, ocean of courses is a big challenge for these students also. Because many are teaching the same subject, same uh, concepts and everything. But who is teaching better? We are not in a position to select a one as. That is a big challenge for the student's point of view. Right? Next. A to F. A to F is an one which is uh, uh, in the symbol, uh, the binary number system. Sorry, this is part of the hexadecimal. Like a binary 0 and 1, only 2 and a decimal will be a 10 and hexadecimal will be a 16. But 16 A to F, how it will be there? 0 to 9 and A to F it will be. 0 to 9 and A to F it will be there. That is a part of the hexadecimal, 0 to 9 and A to F. IoT full form is that Internet of Things. Internet of Things, nothing but the things which we can perform 
by using an internet is called as an internet of things. The things which we can perform by using internet is called as an internet of things. The type of memory that holds the computer startup routine is an ROM. By whenever we start the computer, whenever we start the computer, when you the moment that you switch on the computer, the memory which will first get activated is that ROM. And in this ROM only, the operating system being installed. Operating system is installed in the ROM only. As well as in the this is a ROM which will start which will start first and this is called as an booting system also bootstrap boot will stop bootstrap it is bootstrap right ah uh, booting next one is that next one which is total number of mobile users in india is increasing rapidly because Cost of the mobiles are decreasing. Is it cost of the mobiles are decreasing? Yes, by how the cost of the mobiles are decreasing, we can see the many price, many of the mobiles are prices are getting increased. The model which we have in before the 2016, the model which are there now, if we can compare features got increased, cost got increased. But for the same feature, now the cost is less as compared to the previous. Same Redmi 4A, same Redmi 4A, the 4GB or 8GB, whatever it is there. At that time, it is before the 2016 or 2016-17 uh, 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 time, it was 8 to 12,000 or else 12,000 to 16,000. Now, the same model is getting at a cheaper cost. That is why here, whenever the mobile uh, costs are getting decreased, the mobile number, mobile users are getting increased rapidly, right? Next, do hit a like button guys, attendance is mandatory. The file extension of a Microsoft Word document is an dot co docx by up to 2003 version, up to 2003 version, Microsoft extension is an dot doc only. From the 2017 version onwards, it is doc x that is document extension document extension next the binary number for a decimal 9 how to calculate a binary for a decimal 9 9 to 4 is a 8 1 will be the reminder to 2 is a 4 0 will be the reminder to 1 is a 2 1 will be 0 will be the reminder so 1 double 0 1 will be the answer that is over here next the Full form of the abbreviation ISP, Internet Service Provider, who is providing a service is called as an Internet Service Provider. The best example is that Act Fiber, Hathway, Geo Fiber, all these are examples of the ISPs who are Internet Service Providers. Next, the name for the web page address is called as an URL. The name of the URL is www.unacademy.com unacademy.com so this is a url this is a url where the domain is there and the host name also there that is unacademy.com privacy and security of a user data is at a stake on the internet and no steps are being taken by the user for security and privacy of data right secure and privacy of data actually why this statement is given as a correct in one of the previous year question of 2020 because even though privacy at a risk, some people knowingly, unknowingly, their personal data, they are putting under the internet. They are, they are uh, keeping under the internet. Knowingly, unknowingly, because of the social media, this is happening. But only less number of people are taking a proper precautionary measures to protect their privacy of a data. But remaining people don't know how to deal with it. And even though they know about it, they will ignore it. That is what is happening. Right. Next, uh, text is an text is excluded from the domain of artificial intelligence because text is just a matter that which we can type it. That is what a message or it can be. But it cannot be uh, deal, it cannot de uh, deal with the artificial intelligence. Next is that application software is not a system software. 
application software we are having a two types of software one is system software and the second one is that application software system software is that system utilities are there and the system uh, system internal the system utilities will be there and other one is also there by other one so that is totally related to internal data this application is according to our convenience according to our requirement we will install application softwares the full form of the gif gif graphic interchange format that gifs we can see in whatsapp facebook telegram instagram the gifs are available in everywhere even in academy also computer memory is a type of uh, computer memory for types from the lowest are this point is repeat this point not 23 continuation lowest to highest speed so secondary memory is a lowest speed and main memory catchy memory so catchy memory is the highest I, if i can write the speed now if i can write a speed point of view register catchy roam ram and uh, secondary storages secondary storages this could be 1 2 3 4 5 so in the secondary storages also order will be there like a cd rom will be at last hard disk will be at first floppy disk will be next like that those orders also will be there that we'll see in next uh, upcoming uh, single liners it is there don't worry right next is that speed of the internet is measured in gbps speed speed of the internet is measured in gigabits per second gigabits per second right so, machine learning requires a good quality and sufficient data to train and test the algorithm. Algorithm means a sequential steps. Steps to get the output. Steps to get the output. So, for the correct classification, good quality data which is free from noise, free from error, sufficient data is required for training and testing the algorithm. So, algorithm means if you give the input, if it is correct, then only you can move further. If it is not correct, it will come back. This is like a programmed instruction. This is like a programmed instruction. Next. Using a website to pour out one's grievances is called as a cyber venting. To pour out one's grievances is called as a cyber venting. Cyber venting is an like you know it is acting like a helpline where it will solve your problem. So, to pour out one's grievances, whatever the problems are there uh, for them. So, to bring that into a uh, complaint or to uh, solution manner, we will be using that cyber venting concept, taking the grievances. Right. GUI, full form of the GUI, graphical user interface. Graphical user interface is an like a display, display of the computer, like a monitor. There, uh, we will be using the, in this GUI. RGB technology, red, green, blue, because of this only all colors will come. The color screens we can see because of this only RGB, red, green, blue, where colors will be, these color, three colors will be mixed up to show the exact color. Algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve any problem. Just now in the machine learning we have seen over here. So, they are using algorithm to solve any problem. Compilers are software and touch screens and monitors are input. Compiler is a language translators, that is a software, which is a system software. These are language translators. These are language translators, which are system utility, system software, which are part of the system software, comes under the utility softwares, right? Next, um, uh, touch screen and monitors are input. Touch screen is an uh, touch screen and monitor touch screen monitors put together sorry this is like a mobile only and touch screen monitors and touch screen laptops are there now where we can touch and uh, that can also display it's like a mobile this can be both input as well as output devices both it is it will be both input and output 
right next here image jp dot jp is an extension for the image file dot mb is an extension file for the video dot mp3 is an extension file for the audio dot doc is an extension file for the word processing extension files respective extensions and the file of image Rest respective extension file of the image next is that search engine google.com is a search engine like a bing.com ask.com duckduckgo.com and yahoo.com all those are search engines for a job openings we use the naukari monster.com fresherworld.com and real level many things are there job openings and gmail gmail outlook mail all are part of the emails only and e-commerce, Amazon, Mintra, Flipkart, Snapdeal, all these are e-commerce websites. Next. Do hit a like button, bhai. Both are not matching. This is not correct. All, uh, ALU stands for Arithmetic Logic Unit. UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply UPS. UPS will be there. So, with this, power supply will not be interrupted. If you, if you charge that UPS with the batteries, Whenever power goes off within a second, you cannot even interrupt the power. All will not get switched off. Immediately, this UPS will back up the things. Uninterruptible means which will not interrupt, which will not stop the flow of electricity. Internet is larger than intranet. Internet is larger than intranet. And internet is network of networks. By internet is a worldwide. Intranet is an intra is within organization within the organization right whereas inter inter between the organization between one organization to another both inter and intra both are secured between them only who are allowed in to access to this network them only they can access within the organization only this intra network can be accessed more than that they cannot go right and here extra network by extra net is an wait intranet and internet extra net is an Sorry, sorry, sorry. This internet is a broader array what I told. I have to write this as extra net only. Where is the eraser? This is between the sorry, sorry, sorry. Just this is extra net between the organization and intra and extra between this is extra net is a between the organization intranet is within the organization both are secured these both are secured and uh, people who are having access authorization only they will allow whereas internet is a broader in sense it will access to total network of all networks right so next uh, which is both are private extra and intranet are private networks programming languages c plus plus java python these are all programming languages operating system windows xp windows 8 9 uh, windows 8 and 10 8.1 now it is 11 also latest one windows 11 and uh, even ios is also there that is uh, apple macintosh and uh, Many things are there. Operating system like a Linux operating system is there. Android operating system is there for the mobiles. Internet is a worldwide WW worldwide area network, and uh, a application software is an MS PowerPoint. Applications application software not only MS PowerPoint, MS Access, MS uh, Word, MS PPT, everything. Example of primary memory is RAM. RAM. Secondary memory is a pen drive. Not only pen drive, hard disk. Blu-ray disc, SSD, CD, DVD, pen drive, SD digital smart card, SD cards. So, SD card, which is the memory cards. Those are all part of the secondary memories. Primary memory can be a RAM and ROM. 
Rome also. It could be Rome also. And Param Shivai. Param Shivai is related to National Supercomputing Mission of Government of India. Why in place of Param Shivai, which is a new supercomputer, which is in the June, in the June 2022, new supercomputer came into picture. Param Shiva is related to India. I cannot eliminate this one. Where is my eraser? I, can, I cannot eliminate the Param Shiva, but all over the world, new. New one came. What is that new one? Please tell. I told in the plus session, but I forgot the name. Frontier, yes, it is Frontier. World fastest supercomputer. What is that? I given short also. World fastest supercomputer. That is United States of America, USA, Frontier. It is Frontier. Whereas in India, it is Param Shivai or Param Pravega. I already made it, Bharti. Ah, uh -huh, yes, yes. Ajay, you are saying you, I made it. By match the uh, likes by, or, uh, how many times I need to ask? You have to show you are at least uh, the presence now. Very bad people. Here. Very bad. So, web browser. Chrome is a web browser. Mozilla, Firefox, Chrome, Baidu browser. These are various web browsers examples. Even Opera, UC browsers also. Opera. You see, various things are there, and operating system DOS, MS DOS, Windows 11, Windows 8, even Linux, Android, Android, all these are there. Thank you, UGC Net, Echo Prep. Great. Chalo. Uh, IOS. IOS also. Next is that uh, application uh, secondary memory is a hard disk and application software is MS Word and all. Software, Linux is a software which is an operating system software. Hardware is a hard disk. Hard disk is a hardware. And step by step procedure algorithm, raw facts and figures data. Why there is a difference between data and information? That is also asked in the exam. Unfortunately, we, we are making that also wrong. Data information. What is the difference? Data and information. This is raw. Raw means unstructured. And information is an a processed one. It's a processed per analysis. That is structured or properly arranged. properly arranged or structured comes under here. So, that is a difference. Once a data has been processed, the data which you collect, which you will take it. Once this data got arranged in a proper manner according to our requirement for the analysis purpose, that will become an information. You are going to process the information. Ah, correct. Next. 
इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अ प्रोसेस डेट दैट इज वॉट आई एम टेलिंग ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड पॉइंट हो गया खत्म टाटा बाय बाय प्रोसेस डेटा ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड साइज ऑफ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी असेंडिंग ऑर्डर दिस इज कंफ्यूजिंग ना टेल हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू पीपल वेन यू लुक एट द असेंडिंग डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर क्वेश्चन असेंडिंग डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू डायरेक्टली सी दिस स्टेटमेंट विदाउट राइटिंग दिस लो टू हाई आर हाई टू लो जस्ट टेल मी हॉनेस्टली टेल मी हॉनेस्टली फर्स्ट यू विल चेक ना एटलीस्ट सेल्फ एवेल्युएशन विल बी देर अच्छा इज इट असेंडिंग मीन्स लो टू हाई और हाई टू लो टेल टेल हू इज दट Think first, ah. <laughs> so ascending is an ascending is an low to high. Descending is an reverse, high to low, right? Even I also confused by that is natural. So here. Uh, lowest one is uh, KB, MB, and G but this symbol is wrong. By no, 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 this symbol is wrong. How can we? This is first arrangement we need to do. KB, MB, GB, TB. This symbol is wrong. Do not ignore the symbol. I'll change in the final PDF whenever I'll upload in Telegram. Na, no? I'll change it. Correct, correct, Sesi Kala. That is ulta. Ulta is written there. That is. Ulta return. So print. Better not to type that one. Na no? we'll we'll make a one two three form. That will be uh, better, I think. Printed output from a computer system is called as an. Printed output from a computer system is called as an hard copy. And RAM is an read and write memory because RAM, random access memory where you can read it and you can also write it. But ROM you cannot write it. You can only read. You can use it. Scanner is not used to avail the internet connectivity. For scanner, what will be there? Scanner is just converting the physical soft hard copy into a soft copy is called as a scanner. Input device mouse El Capila. Mouse input device mouse keyboard and uh, whatever that you are using as a pointer and all that is also input device. Input device. Next output device is monitor. And software, monitor and printer are best examples. Software is MS Office. Web browser is a Chrome. This is a most repeated question, boy. You where you cannot uh, go wrong. This is easy. Right. Ah, joystick. Next, Radha receives an email claiming that her credit card account is about to be suspended unless she emails her credit card details and PIN number, that is personal identification number. He is phishing. They will call you like this only. They will call you and they will email you. That is what a phishing means. They represent themselves as a legitimate representatives or legitimate entities. They will call you. Hello, sir. I am calling from ICICI Bank. If and you are having an account with with us now. That actually that person will not have account with them. Surprisingly, sometimes this will happen. Who is trying to mask out the uh, people, na? So they will tell like we are calling from bank only. Your credit card or debit card with us only. If you are not going to share the pin, then this account will get blocked. That is phishing. RAM is placed on the motherboard. Yes, on the motherboard, RAM is going to place in the place of the RAM board. And uh, National Super Computing Mission is a government of India's initiative, which is Param Shivai Super Computer. National Super Computer. Even Param Pravega is also there. Param Pravega in India. Param Pravega is also there. Next, cache memory is faster than RAM. Cache is more. accessible to the processor and able to increase the efficiency because it is physically closer to the processor than ram so cache is very close to the processor 
क्या चीज क्लोज टू द प्रोसेसर एंड क्या चीज हैविंग हाइएस्ट स्पीड क्या चीज स्पीड इज हाई एज कंपेर्ड टू रैम एज कंपेर्ड टू देन रैम एज कंपेर्ड टू रैम राइट बिकॉज दैट इज मोर कैच इज स्पीड इज हाइयर एज कंपेर्ड टू रैम एंड कैच इज अवन विच इज इंक्रीजिंग एफिशियंसी ऑफ द कंप्यूटर ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट फेसबुक इज नॉट ए वेब ब्राउजर फेसबुक इज अ सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म वेब ब्राउजर्स आर फायर फॉक्स क्रोम सफारी ऑल दीज आर कम्स अंडर वेब ब्राउजर्स यूनिफॉर्म रिसोर्स लोकेटर यू आर एल स्टैंड फॉर दिस इज ए आइडेंटिटी ऑफ द वेबसाइट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर कंसर्न होस्ट एंड कंप्यूटर इन कंप्यूटर्स डीवीडी रोम इज ऑप्टिकल स्टोरेज मीडिया एंड इट कैन बी ओनली रिटर्न वंस डीवीडी रोम डीवीडी रोम रोम इज डीवीडी डिजिटल वर्सटाइल डिस्क और डिजिटल वीडियो डिस्क रीड ओनली मेमोरी द नेम इट सेल्फ इज इंडिकेटिंग रीड once you return you cannot erase you cannot remove that one you cannot insert the new data also once you inserted a data you have to just see you can view the data only you cannot remove the data that is not possible next cache memory and ram are volatile memories volatile means if the data is not saved while you are operating if the data is not get saved na then um, then automatically you will use uh, wait by catchy memory and ram na yes volatile because rom is a non volatile rom is a non volatile in nature whereas catchy is a volatile if you don't save then data will get lost if the power is switched off when the data is here if we are trying to feed the data in rom na that is non volatile in nature even the power turned off that will not be erased Correct, correct only. Erase after shutdown. The recycle bin is an area of in Windows operating system that contains files which are deleted from the hard drive, but not in pen drive and CD-ROM. By whenever you connected something external to the computer, CPU or the laptop. If you are deleting a data in that external device which you connected, that is a pen drive or SD card or a CD-ROM or it could be anything external hard disk also. If you are deleting a data in that, it will not go into the recycle bin. The data which will go into the recycle bin is when you delete the data inside the computer hard disk, then only it will go to the computer uh, recycle bin. Otherwise, from the external device deletions, it will not go to the recycle bin. Right? next the correct order of computer memories on the basis of increasing memory access time memory access time means low access time to high access time low access time to high access time that means slow to fastest so that is highest uh, sorry lowest access time is register very fast they will enter fast means very less time they will take Cache memory second lowest time means second fastest. Main memory is a ROM, which is a ROM main memory. That is third lowest speed. Means the speed point of it is third lowest and access time also somehow as compared to the cache and register it is third one. Secondary memory is a, it will take time to access to it and it is very uh, slow in nature in accessible. Slow in means high time will be taken extra time. High time to access. Just now we have uh, understood this in the Plus platform. We solved this question now, which is 2021 question also given. Minimum number of bits required to store any three-digit decimal number is ten. Minimum number of bits required to store any three-digit decimal number is ten. Any three digits, because minimum decimal is what till nine it is binary. right then the 10th one the decimal itself is a decimal radix is what the decimal radix itself is a 10 10 is a radix for decimal next software loaded into ram software loaded into ram from secondary storage and then executed by the cpu first software when you install now it will be installed inside the ram 
then CPU will execute to uh, fully operate. Next, Swayam is an initiative of Government of India aims at providing an affordable and quality education in the to the citizens and this is 9th July 2017 got initiated with the three principles access, equity, quality and this is anytime, anywhere, anyone can able to access. Next, random access memory is a volatile, ah, volatile just now learned. Storage data are programs currently in use and, uh, and the memory of a volatile, RAM is a volatile means data is retained in RAM as long as computer is on. Once a computer turned off without saving, the data in the RAM will get lost. In the cache also it will get lost. Now, there are four quadrants. Why great Ganesh? For what? So, here uh, operating system software that controls the peripheral. Peripherals is nothing but the attachables. The attached, the keyboard, the camera and everything which is connected and CPU, every cable is connected now. So, software that controls a peripheral. Operating system is the one which control every of the thing which is connected to the computer. Because entire heart is that operating system only. With this only computer will get on and off. And uh, WW service that runs on the internet. That runs on the internet. Yes, WW is the first web browser in, uh, in the world. Device driver for every... For every activity or every function on the computer, like a network, for a network, network driver, for a Bluetooth, Bluetooth driver, audio, audio driver, video, video driver, display, display drivers, for every function in the computer, the uh, respective drivers has to be installed, then only that particular function will work without any error or without any bug. IP is an internet protocol. The protocol name itself is saying, protocol means which is in rules other regulation it defines a network addresses and is used for routine packets routing packets next wi-fi is a wireless fidelity full form is that wireless fidelity and it is a set of standards for using a short range waves to allow the computing devices to connect LAN and to the internet. Wi-Fi is the one which is short range will be there, very less range. If you go very long uh, range also, it will not get accessible. And for a computing devices to connect local area network, local area network and or to the internet. Next, Anku receives an email informing that his credit card got lost and asking for a personal credit, uh, personal information that is after a week 10,000 got deducted after sharing everything katam fasak tata goodbye phishing happened because ankit shared up uh, some personal details when he when they asked like me innocent what to do so he shared then phishing happened amount got deducted that is what a phishing scam so, modem is a device that enables a computer to communicate over the telephone. Modem, modulator, demodulator. Modulator, demodulator. Demodulator. Converting the analog signals into an analog to digital. Analog to digital. That is what modulating and demodulating. Ulta. So, by using a telephone lines only, this will happen. That is. Yes, Ganesh. So, here the value of a hexadecimal is 21, 30, 21 is 33 in decimal number system. The value of a binary number a of 110 is 14. Now, you need to calculate this one. But I will not allow you to go further until unless you calculate. Taro, calculate. So, here 
वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सा डेसिमल नंबर ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन इज थर्टी थ्री सो ट्वेंटी वन हेक्सा डेसिमल मीन सिक्सटीन रैडिक्स राइट ना वन वन जीरो बैनरी इज वन वन जीरो ट्रिपल वन जीरो दिस बैनरी फॉर दिस डेसिमल नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई फॉर दिस बैनरी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई ना सॉरी डेसिमल डेसिमल बोथ आर डेसिमल ओनली करो सॉल्व इट हाँ इनोसेंट शिवा सर शिवा सर इज इनोसेंट करेक्ट ये तो सही कहा भाई इन यूर एंटाइ लाइफ दिस इज द ट्रूथ दैट यू स्पोक रिमेंबर टूडे How to calculate? Please tell the process. Fifty one. Hello, heroine. Just now I told the answer also. I am asking about the steps. Answer is already available, boy. Thirty three is the answer, and for fourteen is the answer. You tell the process. Whether thirty three will come or not, I want you to tell. 33 is correct and 14 is correct or not Thirty-three is not correct. Then this statement has to be wrong. If thirty-three is not correct, if thirty-three is not correct, statement has to be wrong. I need to change that one. Fourteen is correct, ah? So ho 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 ho. Here, two power zero into zero, two power one into one, plus two power two into one, two power three into one. So now this is two power zero zero, one into zero zero, and two power two into one two. This is four, and this is eight. Eight plus four twelve plus two fourteen is coming. How to calculate this one? Sixteen twenty one they given. Twenty one sixteen they given. Now what to do? Sixteen power zero into one. Sixteen power ah uh, one into two. वो तो सही है ना भाई थर्टी थ्री आई थिंक सिक्सटीन पावर वन सिक्सटीन इंटू टू थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्सटीन पावर जीरो इंटू वन विच इज वन थर्टी थ्री करेक्ट ओनली ना हाउ इट इज रॉन्ग आंसर इज करेक्ट ओनली हाउ इट इज रॉन्ग नाउ यू आर सेइंग थर्टी थ्री तो आएगा ओ हो भर्ती Great, great. You you are the one who told the procedure. Nice, nice, uh, Bharti. You only told correct. Chalo, let's move to the next. Let's move to the next. Chalo, ha. Huh. List one digital initiative and objectives here. NAD National Academic Depository. 24 by 7 online storehouse of all the academic award that we are our original degree everything will be stored in this that is national academic depository right next is that swayam prabha swayam prabha is an dts channel which is using a gsat 15 satellite to give the lectures and this is every day how many uh, hours of fresh content Four hours of fresh content will be repeated for six number of five number of times plus one original, which is equal to twenty four. Twenty four hours it will be working by using a GSAT fifteen satellite, and it is having thirty four DTS channel. And out of the thirty four DTS channel, recently Gyan Darshan also got added into the Swayam Prabha. 
National Digital Libraries and e-content will be available in the meta form where you can use the catalog to identify your required source of e-book. Swayam Eason offers various online courses for the school and higher education and the correct order of following types of storage computers on the basis of price, mm, cost, storage from the most expensive to least expensive. Highest high expensive is that catchy. High speed, high expensive. More speed, more expensive. Less speed, less expensive. DDR, double data RAM. So, double data rate, I think. Double data rate or dual data rate. So, that is second one. And SSD, solid state drive, which is the third highest and uh, cost wise. And hard disk is the lowest one. Hard disk is the lowest one. Chalo, next, Microsoft Access Oracle SQL Structured Query Language or example of relational database systems. RDBMS will be there, na? relational database management systems. Those are Oracle, SQL and Microsoft Access. Somebody told, when I told uh, Oracle as an, I think Sesikala, Oracle as an programming language, that is not a programming language, it is a database system, relational database system. Like that, Microsoft Access and SQL. Relational database is a collection of data items and with a predefined relationship. Already the relationship be, uh, between the data got created. You can just use the data for making analysis. And operating system is an interface between the user, means a computer, the user who are using the computer and the computer hardware component and software component. Hardware and software interaction with a user is called as an operating system. Because this is a name itself is indicating operating system. To operate the system called as a computer, user is using this OS. Blockchain technology is useful for cryptocurrency. Blockchain technology. Blockchain is a real-time live database. This is a live. Live database is comes under the. And very highly secured. Nobody can steal this. The blockchain is a highly live database where nobody can... Uh, Manipulate that thing. It is a live one. And internet is the largest information base has become viral part of our life. Vi sir, vital part of our life. Internet we cannot avoid nowadays. Without internet, now we can't even survive also. Like, like a food like internet now. HTML is a language used for designing a web pages. That is hypertext markup language. Hyper, or sometimes we will forget. Hypertext mark, markup language is a language which is used to create the web pages that describe the content, that describe the format, that describe the layout in which web page has to appear by using a WW. Full form of the abbreviation of CPS. CPS is a cyber physical system. Cyber physical system is a CPS. Cyber, I can survive without internet. Ah, oh, alien hai na bhai. You can survive easily. Don't worry. So, an unsolicited email message sent to many recipients at once is called as a spam. In the email also, we can see spam folder. Na? Unsolicited means not actually requested by the sender. Not actually uh, like expected by the sender. Unsolicited means unwantedly it is coming. That is what a spam. That is what spam. Next is that, next, operations are special symbols that are used to perform the, that are used to perform the calculations and make comparisons and check logical conditional. By here, operators are, oper these are operationals are special symbols. There are two types. One is direct operators and rela relational operators also will be there. Relational operators will perform this comparisons. Whereas normal operators are performing a calculation, relational operators are compare the things. They will check the conditions also. And in peer-to-peer -peer network, there is no central server instead of a computer. Instead, each computer act as a server. Peer-to-peer -peer means one colleague to another. With, between your friends, one computer to another computer, you will get shared. That is comes under here. 
पीयर टू पीयर Yes, yes. Nakul can survive, but you cannot survive, Rahul, because without talking to the people, he will go mad. That is why. So peer to peer means one person to another person uh, who is there. So every computer who is who is having an interacting now that itself will act like a uh, server to connect to other. Personal area network, which is a PAN. Personal area network is a computer network mainly created for an individual, not for LAN. Because LAN is a local area network, this may not be a personal. Personal area network can be your, your, uh, your VPN will be used. That is virtual private network. Or a, within that only it will come. Within that particular space only it will come. If you go out of that space, it will not come. That is a private area network. Next. Yes, operator, arithmetic and relational is logical and comparison. Next year, computer network enables a two or more computers to share the data and hardware resources. A computer network enables two or more computers to share the data and hardware resources. To share the data and hardware resources are part of this one. And full form of abbreviation of OCR. OCR is an optical character recognition. Optical character recognition. What is this optical character recognition? If you want to convert the physical copy of a book, into a soft copy. You can take a scanner like a OCR scanner application and just click a photo. Whatever the data is, it will not be converted as an image. It will be converted in a text form. You can just copy and paste those things. This is how the stealing also. It will give a score for stealing of others data. And Moodle is an abbreviation of modular object oriented dynamic learning environment. This full form has been asked in 2020 and 2021 also modular object oriented dynamic learning environment modular object oriented dynamic learning environment is a model full form right today we are on fire by we are about to complete it5 hmm but i hit hit the like button in that excitement don't hit double time if you already hit okay just extra barrow extra extra, extra browser window of a commercial that opens automatically so once you open some website now it will come sign up or it will come one advertisement whichever the offer is going on that comes under the pop-up which will get pop-up it will get highlighted when once you entered into that website right ftp is a file transfer protocol which is the service available on the internet so by using internet only you can transfer the one file to another one uh, file can be transferred from one location to another location that is what ftp that is what eftp next wireless communication provides anytime anywhere connection to both computers and telephone and mobile phone are capable of providing voice communication and also digital message but actually here one kaya statement which is given by the nta is that Anytime is okay, but anywhere means here the meaning must be taken as an which is near to that network. Anywhere is indicating wherever we go, we can just switch on to Wi-Fi if it is available. Wherever we go, we can if we have a Wi-Fi connection, we can access to that one. That is the meaning to be taken over. Anywhere means if we are in home, in home Wi-Fi can be used it in uh, railway station means that is not possible. So, wherever the Wi-Fi connection is there, there we can use it. Next, the following technologies of different computer generation in the order they have been used. So, vacuum tube generation number 1 and transistor generation number 2, microprocessor generation number 4 it is because in between generation number 3 used integrated circuits, ICs. Integrated circuit, generation number 4, microprocessor, artificial intelligence, present and generation 5, fifth generation, right? Next, 
That's about it, bye. I think one hour done. How is the session? Batao thoda. Did you enjoy? Tomorrow, next part of this session is going to be there. If we go with this speed now, I think uh, next session more than 8 are available where we can complete easily. Let us start with the information and communication technology uh, part number 2. So, here if I can list it out, I think I have completed till the 90 if I am not wrong, till the 95, till here I have completed, you people have to confirm where till where I have to uh, I have completed till where. So, 85 bitrate ISP. Chalo, I think here this is the end point in the previous class. Guys, do hit a like button if you like the session and uh, with your confirmation I can move further. Please confirm by hitting a like button. Right. Next, that is CDMA stands for the full form of the CDMA. You can just look at code division multiple access. The full form of the CDMA is code division multiple access. CDMA full form. So, in display technology, CRT stands for cathode ray tube. In display technology, the display is in cathode ray tube, and there will be a RGB, which is red, green, blue. Uh, this technology will be there which is making the CRT as an color one, color CRT will have. And here uh, web 2.0 application means uh, blogs and Twitter are uh, 2.0 applications. Search engines are Google and Yahoo. System software are Windows 8, iOS is an Apple uh, system software whereas Windows is an Microsoft. And high level languages are C++, Java, Python, all these are programming languages. And an algorithm expressed in a graphical form. Algorithm is, uh, algorithm is like this. So, it will be an input and output. Input and output like a flow chart will be there. So, it is expressed in a programming language called as a computer program. Like all these programming languages will be used to make the algorithm. And here... Here, the full form of the abbreviation of ASP, which is Internet Service Provider, like a Geo Fiber, Hathway, and all Act Fiber, those are Internet Service Providers. Bitrate is an what is bitrate? Bitrate is a number of bits per second, number of bits per second, not bytes per second. So, bits per second that can be transmitted over a network. Via network, how much at, at what speed it is getting converted? And here, methodology for the delivery of a voice. Voice and multimedia sessions over the internet called as an VOIP that is voice over internet protocol. Voice over internet protocol is comes under the VOIP. And which of the following are true about the wireless networking? It is easier to expand the network. It is easier to expand the network. They are asking about wireless network. It is easier to expand the network means many members can be able to connect uh, via uh, wireless technology. That is what expansion and data is less secure than the wired system because in the wide now that is authenticated one. Authorized only can able to connect to the wire. But here whoever is having a password now all devices can be able to connect unless until there is a restriction. Right. So that comes under the data is less secure than the wired system. So, as per the LAN cable will be there now, LAN cable is more secure one, LAN cable which is a wide system. And here components of the computer system, output device is a printer, monitor, those are all uh, computer output devices and system software is a operating system and a storage device is a RAM. RAM is a storage device, MS Office is an application software. These are list 1, list 2 type of questions by, that is how it is given. And here a type of memory that holds a computer, startup routine is called as a ROM. Because 
whenever you switch on the computer if you switch on the cpu or the power button first one which will start is that rom rom read only memory which is called as a boot strap which is called as a boot strap right next cloud computing has a following distinct characteristics cloud computing which is via internet the storage will be there the services has hosted over the internet huh? by, by using internet only and it is made available by the service provider by cloud computing it is not cloud storage also will be there cloud storage also will be there cloud storage and cloud computing cloud computing is another new technology with the use of internet only we will be providing a services and here the service is fully managed by the service provider only cloud computing means entirely online based service provisions these are right so do hit a like button guys uh, the members are not matching here a firewall is a software tool that protects the server protects the network protects the individual firewall is like this so this is if any unauthorized access or the requests are coming from the outside this firewall will protect like this this firewall will act as a protector this is our internal one so it will protect our server network and individual computer also the word blog the sorry the word blog is derived from v blog the word blog is there now blog which we are saying blogger the blogger is derived from the v blog only mouse is a input device monitor is output device catch is a memory which is uh, a main memory and python is a software python is a software python is a programming language which is a software Sorry, Python is a not a programming language. That is a software. That is database. Relational database. Sorry, Oracle that one. Are, Python is language only. Python is programming language only. I was speaking about Oracle. Oracle is a database. Relational database management system. Next, the term plotter is best described as an output device to produce the drawings and graphics. So, this plotter is nothing but you know the flexi printing. Flexi printing, big big holdings will be there. Na? Those printings will be done via plotter only, which is output device. E commerce involves buying and selling of a product and services over the internet. E commerce, electronic commerce. It is an electronic commerce. The best example is an Flipkart, Amazon, are the major e commerce website presently. And scanner is the device which allows the copy to an external document and save it in an electronic form. This is a physical hard copy. Hard copy in TN soft copy soft copy that comes under here ah, AGO also I rectify I rectify it do not worry Python is a programming language I rectified all that don't worry about it hello next Correct sequence with respect to size of storage unit. Size of storage unit TB is less than PB. PB is less than EB. EB is less than ZB. Right. So an internet is a private network for sharing a computer resources and information within an organization. And intranet is and within the organization intranet and intranet is a private version also it is within the organization and it is a private version of the internet number of unique combination of a zeros and ones can be made with a five binary digits that is two power n two power n means two power n equal to five which is given so two power five equal to two into two into two into two into two which is equal to 32 will come right 32 
do hit a like button first let us have the proper so here yeah, the processor through which illegitimate website pretends to be a specific legitimate website by illegitimate website this is a fake website diverting the traffic diverting traffic from main website by creating a duplicating website duplicate website will be there na duplicate website so amazon.com is there amazon n additional n they will add and dot com only they will put we think that that is a correct only but that is a illegal website which is created duplicating the same thing so which will divert the traffic the keys of keyboard are called as a modifier keys modifier keys will not operate will not operate on its own it it must and should require additional support of other keys those are control shift and alt three are modifier keys three are modifier keys next is that one aspect of e governance deals with the flow of information between government and citizens government and citizen that is g2c and government to citizen initiative are e help as well as e health e help and e health are comes under the government initiated things if any help is required electronically you can reach out to the government and e health also comes under that the portal that include list of online courses swayam as well as nptel nptel for engineering courses mainly so nptel is for engineering courses whereas this swayam is for school and uh, ug next ubuntu is an operating system avi is an audio video file format sorry avi is an file transfer protocol what what this is not a file transfer protocol avi is an video file format it is i have to change audio video interface right by audio video so next is that uh, excel is a word processing software and uh, hard disk is a cloud storage facility hard disk hdd which is external right next bcd stands for binary coded decimal bcd is a binary coded decimal voip voice over internet protocol allows a phone call to be routed over the network wise via network wise only it will be there next is that 1 gigabyte represent 1 billion characteristics 1 gb equal to 1 gb 1 gigabyte is equal to 1 billion 1 billion 10 billion is equal to that 10 gb next is that scrambling of data before transmission across scrambling matlab creating a protection creating a protection before sharing with others called as an encryption when you are creating a security when you create a security that is encryption whereas when you create when you remove the security or breaking a security that is called as an decryption 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 it is binary is a number system where 0 comma 1 two numbers will be there 0 comma 1 to represent the data in a computer satellite commu communication works through transponder is a one device so with a transponder only the satellite communication will be working transponder is a device right next is that it is not description it is decryption decryption means removing a security not description 
एनक्रिप्शन डिस्क्रिप्ट डिक्रिप्शन नेक्स्ट इन बैंकिंग सॉरी बाइनरी इक्विवल ऑफ डेसिमल नंबर थर्टी फाइव सो थर्टी फाइव डेसिमल नंबर इक्वल एंट बाइनरी इज वॉट सो टू सेवनटीन जा थर्टी फोर वन विल बी द रिमाइंडर टू एट जा सिक्सटीन वन विल बी द रिमाइंडर टू फोर जा एट जीरो विल बी द रिमाइंडर टू टू जा टू जीरो विल बी द रिमाइंडर टू वन जा टू जीरो विल बी द रिमाइंडर सो वन ट्रिपल जीरो डबल वन विल बी द आंसर वन ट्रिपल जीरो डबल वन इज द आंसर फॉर थर्टी फाइव डेसिमल इन अ बैंकिंग सिस्टम ए टी एम मीन्स ऑटोमेटिक टेलर मिशन एंड यूर इन आई टी एक्ट पनिशमेंट ऑफ अ साइबर टेररिज्म पनिशमेंट ऑफ अ साइबर टेररिज्म डीलिंग विद सेक्शन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स एफ डीलिंग विथ विथ सेक्शन सिक्सटी सिक्स एक्स इज अ डीलिंग सेक्शन इन साइबर टेररिज्म सिक्सटी सिक्स एफ नेक्स्ट पार्ट वन इज कंप्लीटेड नाउ नेक्स्ट Misho Trebji, where are you? I think I think you are still in the only the one point that is in online e-commerce website only. Continuously typing about that only. next one not suitable not suitable in the context of email email is a snail mail email is a snail mail is not suitable in the context of email so email is not a snail mail snail mail is nothing but post postal mail so sending anything via postal is called as a snail mail so i actually not suitable in the context of email is nothing but snail mail i should remove this email email is not a snail mail snail mail means a postal offline one right next one is that context of email includes a letter sent over the computer network and to send a unsolicited message unsolicited message this could be a spam which not been want uh, not been expected or not uh, 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 not been requested by the user they are unsolicitedly means bulk sms they are receiving uh, in the form of advertisement it includes the domain name also like uh, at the rate gmail.com at the rate yahoo.com at the rate outto uh, arco.com at the rate uh, uh, redifmail.com like that storage devices in ascending order of the storage capacity ascending means ascending means low to high ascending means low to high cd rom dvd rom cd rom up to 700 mb right and dvd rom up to 4.7 gb whereas hard disk could be up to uh, this is what is highest range of hard disk i forgot i have given in one of the chart i forgot please if anybody remember tell me So here twenty five or seventeen GB, seventeen sorry, not GB by hard disk, seventeen TB. Please do let me know. ROM ROM is a permanent storage is not erased when the computer power is turned off. That is ROM is an non volatile in nature. ROM is non volatile in nature. ROM is non volatile in nature. and cd rom is an example of read only storage because compact disk read only memory the cd rom stands for compact disk compact disk read only memory this is also only read readable once you insert the data you cannot erase the data you cannot overwrite the data so that you can just view only you cannot use it multiple times Blu-ray one twenty-eight GB. Okay, okay. Next, Ganesh nowadays absent in plus sessions. In computer-related activities, full form of the WOM. WOM is an write once, read many times. Means once you insert the data, you cannot reuse. 
so you you can use it for the viewing purpose only you cannot use it for the uh, erasing a data and overwriting a data that is not possible vom describe a data storage device in which information once we have written na it cannot be modified you cannot modify because that is writable only for a one time writable only for a one time next is that www which is a world wide web and java is a programming language ram is a volatile rom is a non volatile and bing is a search engine bing yahoo.com ask.com duckduckgo.com google.com all these are search engines internet is a collection of interconnected computer networks and linked transmission medium such as copper wires fiber optic cables wireless connections also wireless connections are nothing but a wifi and these are lan cables all these are connected lan cables copper wires and wifi connections all the all are comes under here next world wide web is a collection of interconnected documents it's a collection of interconnected documents comes under the world wide web python is a programming language oracle is not a programming language computer related activities the following appropriate describing a language translator assembler compiler interpreter are three language translators three language translator these are comes under the system software or application software do let me know do let me know is it a system software or application software acha okay time saripovatledu so yeah they are system softwares only translators are comes under the system software that to system utilities it will come they will comes under the system utilities this is a 2021 question yes sniffing may be used to steal the data or information over the network and it is a process of monitoring and capturing all data packets which pass through with a given network suppose one hub will be there by this is one hub so in this hub what happens the data which is going through many networks will be connected to this hub like this many network once this hub got uh, hacked by that people now whatever the data which is going via this networks everything will get tracked by this people who are the hackers called as a sniffing that is what this sniffing activity all data packets passing through with a given network the given networks are this and all the data packets are passing through with a, this network which is a hub main network only when you are trying to steal the data whatever the data which is irrelevant data will come and relevant data will come they will remove the irrelevant data and use for uh, relevant data next is that the most suitable for being designated as a fourth generation is that sql structured query language lab lab and view or lab view as well as tutor and a learner is tool lab view lab view tutor and a learner tools is a collaboration tool for providing a virtual classroom i think this is lab view by not lab lab comma view it is a lab view so one of the tool where the virtual labs will be there na like that virtual labs next the application of a van wan in ict research will ensure that wider coverage of accessibility of a needed information wider coverage because this is a wide area network van is an wide area network wide area network lan is a local area network which is used within a building only within a building only you can use it whereas this high coverage area geographically high coverage will be there vdu stands for visual display unit it's a displaying input signal as an characteristics majorly the example is that monitor the monitor crt monitors will be there led lcd all these are 
right next geographical information system gis it's a computer base that stores the manipulates the data that are viewed from the geographical point of reference means like a google maps by geographical information system is nothing but a google map simply it is google map next international computer security day is observed on 30 november every year 30 november will be the international computer security day not computer day hard disk is a storage device that stores a maximum amount of data because this is the highest capacity is there which is below the uh, blu-ray disk but uh, hard disk is having a maximum storage optical disk drive uses a laser light and electromagnetic waves during the process of reading and writing a data on disk those are dvd cdr cdr means cdr compact disk only readable if you write once now you can read many times and blu-ray disk cdrw means rewritable readable and writable means once you insert a data you can erase the data later and you can write a new data also that comes under the cdrw readable and writable that is rewritable whereas is only readable next data represents a raw facts information is a processed meaningful data yes data once you collect it is just a raw facts will be there whereas information is a meaningful uh, one you will arrange in a systematic manner for the analysis purpose that will be called as an information that will be called as an information pci peripheral sorry 1 gb is equal to 1024 mb this is very well known and pci peripheral means connected or attached things component of a interconnect so computer peripherals are external devices connected to a computer that is pci next input peripheral devices contain input peripheral devices contain microphones trackball mouse scanner touchscreen as an os which is operating system controls the peripherals and allocates a memory and the processor time allocates a memory and processor time input peripheral devices contains microphones trackball mouse scanner touchscreen uh, touchscreen till here till here different line by an operating system controls the peripherals which is attachables like keyboard and all and allocates a memory means a partitions they will do the partition when we are ins installing a os now we will do the partition divide the data right so that is about two points I, actually i should bring this point to a separate database w stands for web of science web of science is a database where the international journals will be there international journals and their research papers also will be there you can view the those papers and read from here task is associated with changing the appearance of document in word processing uh, formatting so task is associated with changing the appearance of a document in word processing is called as a formatting formatting is like according to the requirement we have to change the appearance means formatting is that only as per our requirement we need to change and here bluetooth is a wireless technology but very short range short range wireless technology transferring of data from one gadget to another which is a short range. this is a private network so it is used to connect a headset to your mobile phone and uh, it also low cost means of data transfer actually no cost is involved very without internet it will transfer software is loaded into secondary storage device from a ram and executed by the cpu software when you are installing now first it will go into the secondary memory it will go into the secondary storage secondary storage device from the ram then executed by the cpu by software when you are installing it is it will be downloaded into your computer but while installing now while installing it will go into the secondary storage device which is hard disk that you partitioned and from the ram then it is executed by the cpu only. ultimately any execution of software to open or to process for the cpu as the one which is giving a direction to go further now less coverage next by a search engine is a software system that is designed to search for the 
information on the www search engine is a software system search engine is a software system that is designed to search for the information means any information that you can search which is there in the www and blog is a social media it allows anyone in public to communicate this is a uh, personal things when you can share the your interpretation or your analysis your observation anything that you wanted to share in social media this is a one type of personal website is called as in blog and yes swim is a learning platform beam is a upi unified payment interface and umang is a government to business services umang which is government of india initiative ebg is a varas platform means i mean to say ebg is access to all the government services here ebg is another also there which is multi level marketing multi level marketing where the 64 computer courses used to be there in this ebg that is also there next internet is called as a network of network whereby ww is a service that runs on the uh, runs on it internet is a network of network ww is working in the internet only because ww is a first web browser first web browser in the world is that www right so the option that contains optical storage media is dvd is optical cdr blu ray is cdr wism whereas hard disk is an magnetic magnetic even not only hard disk floppy disk also magnetic floppy also magnetic and hard disk also magnetic in nature it is the first becoming a very important field of an activity in india and it has a strong base in software it is a first becoming very important field it information technology is the first a very important field in the activity in india and there is a strong base in software because india is more famous for software production and we are expert in producing a software next with regard to dg locker dg locker is a system which is offered by the government of india only under the digital india program number 1 it allows the users to access to e document irrespective of the physical location means suppose your aadhar card is there you are uh, verified uh, uh, documents are there some documents if you want to upload somewhere you can just enter the dg locker id because dg locker whenever you are uploading into your own account by using your aadhar number or a phone number if you will get a one id whenever you upload a document now that will be authenticated by the respective uh, databases so from there automatically once you enter the dg locker id that database will validate automatically the dg locker documents so that will increase the validity and the authenticity google's web browser is called as chrome google web browser is a google chrome apple web browser is a safari and mozilla firefox is a open source web browsing software in computer input devices are joystick keyboard mouse and digitizer whereas output devices are monitor and printer joystick keyboard mouse in uh, digitizer are input output are monitor and printer both next final so here voip voip voice over internet protocol is a use of internet to make phone phone calls yes we are using nowadays geo fiber once installed now they are not only giving a internet connection they are also giving a voice call option where you can connect to them so fiber optic cable make use of light pulse to transmit the data light pulse to transmit the data and url is a text used by the web browsers to locate a web address on the internet url is a uniform resource locator so this uniform resource locator is a it, this will be used to used by the web browsers to locate the uh, locate the particular details on the internet uniform resource locator right utp cable most appropriate to connect to a computer in a small building utp cable will be there within a small building you can able to connect to that it is acting like a it is acting like a you know lan cable 
and UTP is an unshielded twisted pair cable. Unshielded twisted pair cable is comes under UTP. So it is used in computer networking such as Ethernet. For Ethernet connection, you will be using the yellow color one, we can say. And the communication technologies employs asynchronous communication. Asynchronous means not live, not real time. Not real time, right? So the major issue arising out of the growing reliance on information technology is profitability, security and privacy concern. More relying upon or more trusting on information technology, profitability is the one issue and security and privacy. Actually, security and privacy is okay, but the profitability is somehow we, where we do not have any proper explanation how the profitability is becoming a major issue and how this profitability is linked to information technology. How the profitability is linked to information technology because that is in the context of business. So, this is somehow uh, disagreeable point, but still they are given as a correct one. This is a final uh, slide of it. For the sequence of integers represented in a binary 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and P next is given. So, how to identify? It is simply a multiples 2, 4, 8, 10 like this. So, 0. First, this is given as an 0. Is this uh, sequence is correct? Because this is looking like Mm -hmm. Ah, from stable only, but wait, wait, here Toda Zol. We have to identify the digit. I understood that part, but here the sequence which they given is correct or not, I am just seeing. 4 digit number is given, na? not 4, 5 digit, it is 5 digit is given, it must be only 3 digits, keep the 44 aside, I will just change that because there is a doubt in it. So, ISP stands for Internet Service Provider and the option that contain exclusively text file format. CSV is a text file format and rich text format is RTF and TXT is a text format. Whereas here web browser, web browser which will connect the website and display the web pages. Word processor is prepare the written documents also which we can type it. Spreadsheet is analyzing and summarizing a numerical data is a spreadsheet. And web authoring, web authoring is creating and editing a web pages, web authoring is nothing but authoring is writing the thing where authors will usually use this uh, web pages only like a MS uh, publisher will be there, Microsoft publisher. So like those web authoring will be there where the authors will be using usually. In internet terminology, the acronym WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get, that is printer. Whatever you are seeing on the display of the computer, the same thing you are going to get in the printer as an outcome, uh, hard copy. That comes under physical hard copy. This is WIS, IWIG. What you see is what you get, right? So, that is about the entire information and communication technology. Part 1, I have done thoroughly like this only in the Unacademy Live. Just you can type it complete revision of or else you can join into Telegram. Everything when you scroll up in the Telegram, now all the revision session. One playlist also I shared yesterday. That playlist I will be sharing after this class also. You can see that one. And today morning I uploaded one video regarding the 
yesterday threats to the internal validity and today external validity threats uploaded so you can just see those two videos every video which i am uploading is having a proper reason where previous year questions of 2021 and 2020 got asked from those topic right thank you so much have a great day good night to all and do not forget to subscribe one share with your one of your friend only one sharing Every day, if you share with a one member, that will be a great motivation for me to reach out to many members. This People Development Environment Unit. Point number one. Always a scope for a new question. This is the beauty of this chapter. Already, there is a high scope for a new question always. New questions always been asked from this unit only. Out of the five questions, you can expect a two or one questions at least a new. Not in all the shifts, I would say in majority of the shifts. That is how they are, uh, their, their pattern is following. And here, one more point is that in the people and environment, do not try to aim always when you are not getting some questions correct, when the terminology is looking like very high level and something beyond your capacity or beyond your scope, try to ignore those questions. If you are trying to read much for those questions and trying to increase your scope of the people and environment, you will get a time wasting because this is not the time to waste it. This is a time to utilize it effectively. So it will be a time wasting. Do not go into that. So and satisfy as much as possible. Satisfy yourself as much as possible. Because some people are hunger for the difficult units only. Whenever you are you are decided to spend much amount of time on this unit as it is difficult for you, you have to ask one question to yourself. Do Are, are you prepared 5 by 5 in the teaching aptitude? Are you going to get it 100% sure? Are you going to get it 5 by 5 in the research aptitude and communication and RC data interpretation? and higher education system, ICT, where the, where the damn sure areas are there. Are you sure about those one? Then why, why you are trying to be sure about this 5 by 5 in this particular rugged unit? So this is somehow a type of a negative approach. You should not do this even though out of, out of all the 50 questions, 5 by 5 questions will come uh, from the 5, 5 questions will come from this unit. But 5 by 5, if not 5 by 5, at least a 3 by 5 should be our target, which are common questions that can be, we can get easily the 3. Right. So, satisfy yourself, whatever that you covered in the PYQ or in the theory courses, uh, theory uh, material, whatever you covered and uh, with a PYQ sufficiently understood the requirement. If the question is coming from that, okay, we will get good. Otherwise, leave for the rest. Bus. done so question uh, i am starting a revision point number one the correct sequence of continents decreasing order of their yearly carbon dioxide emissions so this is a region wise by region wise region wise africa is on top sorry asia is on top after the asia asia is on one Actually, before the Asia, even US is there here. So, that is Asia. After US, Asia is there, North America, Europe and Africa in the carbon dioxide decreasing order means high to low. High to low. Right. So, Millennium Development Goals of a Global Partnership for the Development envisaged in making Available benefits of new technologies, information, and communication. What does this term meaning in the context of MDG number 8? So, MDG number 8 is a global partnership. I will tell you information communication between the countries. 
proper communication and information must be shared then only the relationship between the countries will get built up so that's what the information communication which is for the global partnership next the global emissions by weight as per the weight of the primary pollutant from the natural source are maximum in case of carbon dioxide in case of co2 only in case of CO2 only primary pollutants which are natural primary pollutants are more from here and water pollutant if you can see oxygen demanding waste and plant nutrients acids polychlorinated biphenyls this is PCBs PCBs always from the toxic elements highest dangerous one waste insulation when you are burning the waste from that this PCBs polychlorinated biphenyls will come and toxic dump toxic means which are hazardous to the health which are highly dangerous in nature those who are dumping like anything from that also this pcbs will get generated water pollution oxygen demanding waste from the paper mills and food processing units oxygen demanding waste will come and plant nutrients the modern washing machine washing powder and agriculture enough acid will be mine drainage mine drainage means underground one right next must increase the resolution by please increase the resolution then only you will get a clarity good evening everyone kindly hit a like button next despite of despite increase in vulnerability to the natural disasters many countries resist adopting mitigation programs and measures mitigation is perceived by the communities as being compatible to their cultural practices this is actually a one chiased confusion uh, uh, chiased statements were given in the 2019 question so that is why the people are resisting to take the mitigation measures in case of natural disasters which are happening like a cyclone earthquake and all this why the mitigation measures are being resisted means not accepted resist means not ready for the change not ready for the mitigation measures so those because of that if they do something their cultural the whatever the surroundings will get affected if any mitigation uh, measures if the government is taking or if they take it that will impact over there and under the goal number four of the mdg which is millennium development goal the reduction sought to be achieved under the five child mortality so five years uh, be below five years child mortality rate between 1990 and 2015 was two-third it was of two-third as per the mdg now as per the sdg this below below 5 years child mortality rate is how much by at that time it is two third now it is how much as per the sdg as per the sdg it is how much is it 50 percentage that is half or 25 percentage what it is reduce a below 5 years below 5 years there is another one also neonatal mortality rate neonatal how much it is this is half or one third let me confirm by Sorry, yes, 
actually now it is not two third or something it is 25 percentage 25 percent because 12 percentage is but uh, now they have not given directly like this two third or a one third or one uh, one by two they have given in a way like uh, per thousand live birth or per hundred live birth they have given neonatal and all so that is different okay emitted pollutants and their environmental impacts carbon dioxide which is co2 and carbon monoxide which is co nitrogen oxide nox and benzene as well as hydrocarbons their environmental impacts because of the co2 contribution of a global warming because co2 is a major comparable one which is a carbon footprint will be there greenhouse gases will be all will be compared with a co2 only which is causing a global warming the temperature increase and carbon monoxide is a toxic which can cause the respiratory diseases majorly the lungs lungs get affected and here nitrogen oxide is a formation of acid rain it is a formation of acid rain so acid rain will get formed when the nitrogen oxide mixed with other uh, elements of the gases then only it will get next it is benzene and hydrocarbons are toxic and rare carcinogenic in nature it is carcinogenic in nature the correct sequence of the countries in a decreasing order of their contribution uh, to a global carbon dioxide emissions that uh, whatever this one is there now this is a region wise which is asia north america europe and africa here it is country wise country wise china is number one usa number two number three india number four russia number five japan right the efficiency of a windmill depends upon its design parameter the windmill design will be there now which are the rotators wind turbines so how they are uh, designed that will make from the disaster mitigation measures land use zoning and insurance program measures can be categorized as a non-structural by zoning matlab proper uh, taking a uh, dividing making into a partitions zoning is that only like we will make the district will make the states and will will divide into a gram panchayat will divide into various parts now that is what zoning putting a barriers the place geographical barriers and insurance programs are the non-structural non-structural and structural two types of mitigation measures will be there in the disaster structural means which are physically constructing physically like constructing a dam or the walls or something we are doing to stop the natural disaster non-structural means these are policies policies and insurance these are precautionary measures before happening of something itself next the uh, phenomenon of a ozone depletion caused by volatile chlorinated hydrocarbons and uh, excessive use of nitrogen you can just see the phenomenon of ozone depletion is caused by vocs volatile organic compounds vocs and excessive use of nitrogen containing fertilizers nitrogen containing fertilizers so nitrogen oxides and vocs volatile organic compounds next human rights Human right is not an issue to be discussed under the MDG or SDG also. This is not a part of MDG and SDG. Right. Next, correct sequence of countries in the decreasing order of their contribution per capita. By per capita emissions of carbon dioxide. Here, here not per capita, it is aggregate, total, in totality which is aggregate. aggregate wise china usa india russia now per capita wise usa is on number one china is on third usa number one japan second china third fourth india whereas if it is total china usa india russia japan in uh, per capita wise which is per capita carbon emissions that is usa japan china and india the contemporary environmental discourse which are small hydropower plants are preferred over the large hydropower plants why small are preferred because small can be easily done and installation also very budget and budget level and it will be installation will be easy so here installation of small hydropower plants is less capital intensive as compared to the large because large will be a high capital incentive intensive one capital intensive less capital intensive means where more capital is required for a larger one and a small hydropower plant less capital is less amount is required next 
day time noise standard prescribed for the residential areas are 55 decibels 55 decibels for the day time 55 decibels for the day time and uh, here millennium development goal eradication of extreme poverty and hunger and uh, improving maternal health as well as promoting gender equity and empower the woman promote the gender equity and empower the woman the correct sequence of energy sources in terms of their heat of combustion in increasing order increasing order that is green wood and dry wood as well as natural fat and methane natural fat this is they are asking about a correct sequence of energy sources in terms of the heat of combustion in an increasing order means green wood will be less heat this will be a less heat and uh, methane will be having highest heat that is why it is in the global temperature it is the after the carbon this is only global warming next 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 kindly hit a like button guys polluted rivers with a very high values bod's biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand bod and cod bod as well as cod chemical oxygen demand and biological oxygen demand this may produce a foul smell a type of different different smell will come because of this bod only biological oxygen demand right high hazard waste contain pathogens radioactive waste corrosive substances corrosive substances here high hazard waste contain pathogens radioactive waste and corrosive substances radioactive waste and corrosive substances that comes under here high hazard waste high hazard waste contain pathogens radioactive waste corrosive substances now high hazard is nothing but which are impact on the health high health impact which are very dangerous in nature right sulfur dioxide is a primary pollutant the man made contributions to the global emissions million tons per year is more compared to that of natural sources more compared to that of natural sources so this is sulfur dioxide is a primary pollutant which is a man made contributions to the global emissions which is compared with the natural resources natural sources Next is that lakes are considered to be more susceptible, means more doubtful to the pollution than the rivers because lakes are stagnant water. Water will be at the same place, whereas rivers will be flow of water will be there. Flow of water from one place to another place will be there. Water in lakes may take decades to be replaced, means it is stagnant in nature. It will be constant at a one place only. That is why it is more doubtful to the pollution as compared, more susceptible. Or it is causing more pollution as compared to the rivers. And the thermal reactor produces energy by fission. Thermal reactors produce energy by fission from the of the following nuclear fuels. First one is that uranium 235, uranium 233, plutonium 239. In India, uh, uranium reserves are not available. So, to produce the nuclear energy in India, we will make use of thorium. Because in India, thorium reserves are more. So, the thorium reserves are more in Kerala continents, Kerala area geographically. So, the thorium reserves will be using to and thorium will be converting into uranium to produce the nuclear energy. Right, nuclear energy. Next is that noise pollution is a measured in decibels that is dB with reference to a standard sound intensity of the 1 picowatt per meter square magnitude 1 picowatt per meter square so this is uh, noise pollution can be measured in decibel with reference to sound intensity this is not a sound in decibel measurement of a sound intensity at what intensity means intensity will be measured in picowatts and in polluted in urban area in a polluted urban area Carbon monoxide has the highest concentration in photochemical smoke. Carbon monoxide, CO, which is released from the vehicles usually, vehicle air pollutions, vehicles and smoke, smoke, 
so when uh, photo when the smoke will be this is photochemical smoke now smoke plus fog fog smoke plus fog will be forming an photochemical smoke right so next one the se correct sequence of countries who are global co2 emissions in the order of fossil fuel fossil fuel burning the cement uh, manufacturing and gas flaring in 2014. So, CO2 emission first China. Aggregate, I already told you, China is number one. This is aggregator per capita. Ah, aggregate only. Yes, correct. Aggregate China, USA, EU, and Russia. But this is in the context of, you know, contributing global CO2 emission in a decreasing order. Number one, China to slowly, slowly it is coming down and fifth one could be India. Aggregate it is. Yes, yes, per capita US on top. The following are used as a semiconductor material which is fabricated solar cells. Actually, solar cells are made up of silicon and uh, which are used as a semiconductor in making the solar cells is that silicon, tin oxide and cadmium sulphide and gallium arsenide. Gallium arsenide is comes under here. Protection of ozone layer is not a sustainable goal. Protection of ozone layer is not a sustainable goal which is gender equity, climate action and life below water and some of the sustainable goals also. Some of the sustainable goals. Protection of the ozone layer is not a sustainable goal. So, because protection of ozone layer out of the SDG, number 1 to 17, nowhere we have discussed about the ozone layer protection. Right. Chalo. Pathogens in water and disease they cause. Pathogen number one, which is virus is a disease which can be caused by pathogen hepatitis. Virus can cause hepatitis and bacteria, pa sorry, virus is a uh, pathogen which can cause hepatitis as well as bacteria can cause cholera, protonza can cause dysentery and hemanthesis which is parasitic worm can uh, cause kistomiasis, kistomiasis. Whereas, the following are emitted as a coal based thermal power plant. The following are emitted from the coal based thermal power plant. First mainly from the thermal power plant more CO will be produced or emitted. After that sulphur dioxide and particulate matter but not ozone and methane. Ozone and methane. Next objective of MDG. MDG progress of the world as a whole has been least satisfactory reducing by half of the proposition a proportion that is 1 by 2 this is a 2021 question 2020 also both in both it is asked now the correct sequence of correct sequence of carbon to nitrogen carbon to nitrogen in a decreasing order in organic waste, this is the uh, different question by even, you know, this 31 question is so much different where you cannot make this. In organic waste, we need to arrange them in a decreasing order. Means highest organic waste is in paper, lowest in food waste. That is what the meaning over here. Paper, leaves and foliage as well as cow, cow manure and food waste. Cow manure and food waste. Next, according to the noise pollution, regular uh, regulation and control rules 2000 is a year. The nighttime noise standard prescribed for the education institutions means a silent zone. This is silent zone. Educational institution is in silence zones. Hospitals, educational institutions. So, there the decibel is that 40 decibels only. 40 decibels only will be there. Yes, volatile organic compounds VOCs are contaminants more commonly found in groundwater and dissolved oxygen is considered to be 
वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर ऑफ वाटर क्वालिटी सो ये डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन हाउ टू डू इट द हाइएस्ट कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन बेटर द क्वालिटी डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन इज हाई क्वालिटी ऑफ वॉटर विल बी हाई टू डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन इज लो क्वालिटी ऑफ वॉटर विल बी लो एंड डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन विल बी हाई वेन द वॉटर इज कोल्ड वॉटर कोल्डनेस इज लो देन डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन विल बी हाई वॉटर कोल्डनेस इज हाई मीन्स टेम्परेचर विथ टेम्परेचर इज हाई डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन विल बी लो एंड इफ द मोर द डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन द aquatic animal that much they survive if the dissolved oxygen is coming down then aquatic animal cannot survive right next the mission under the national action plan on climate change includes national water mission and national mission on energy efficiency green india mission by this napcc is having sevhag Sevhag HC. So this is solar, energy efficiency, and uh, H Himalayan ecosystem. We have water as well as A agriculture. G Green India, and here habitat, sustainable habitat, and climate change. Right. Next. Ah, two thousand eight. The correct sequence in increasing order of the carbon content per unit of the mass following reservoir of a carbon in terrestrial environment. So here carbon content per unit actually peat is the lowest one, which is when you dig deeper peat is the first one which is getting formed. After that plants, after that solid or uh, soil organic matter and fossil fuel is the final one. This is the outcome actually. Outcome of this digging. Outcome is the fossil fuel is nothing but it could be oil, uh, the petroleum. and the the natural gas it could be anything those four outcomes will come lakes are more prone to getting polluted than the river this is already completed <coughs> sorry lakes are more prone to getting polluted than the reserves so this is already completed by because lakes is a stagnant and constant water so there will not be any uh, pollution with respect to rivers as the flowing water is there another mdg number 5 maternal mortality ratio between 90 to 90 and 2015 is 75 percentage that is 2 by 3 this is also completed point according to the classification of ministry of a new and renewable energy the central electricity authority of india small hydro power plants have capacity range of 1 to 25 megawatts 1 to 25 megawatts Global emission of CO2 stagnated during the years 2020 to 16, and a strong energy efficiency improvement measures and low carbon technologies were developed during the 2014-16. Low carbon technologies means where the carbon usage will be less. That type of technologies were more used in more uh, invented and started from 2014 to 16 year. and here to put the world in a least cost pathway to limiting the global warming to 2 degrees celsius above the pre industrial levels what agreement paris agreement paris agreement it is so the industry level global greenhouse gas emissions by the 2030 with reference to 2017 required to reduce by how much percentage by 25 percentage we need to require to reduce what we need to reduce the global warming the greenhouse gas emission we need to reduce by 25 percentage then only the paris agreement achievement will be done in par with the sdg in par with the sdg next the correct sequence in decreasing order the correct sequence in decreasing order of the carbon content per unit carbon content per unit so the carbon content in sediments it will be more carbon content and dissolved inorganic this is also like that only by the question is there na solid organic waste here inorganic waste they are asking so that is carbon reservoirs in aquatic animal sediments will be having highest uh, carbon content 
and dissolved or inorganic matter dissolved organic matter third one living organism will be having lowest carbon low carbon hydrofluorocarbon need to be reduced ah need to be reduced not phased out phased out means to remove it is to remove this removal is not possible entire removal is not required only to reduce as much as possible to protect the ozone layer and hfcs have a high global warming potential gwp is more for the hfc global warming potential order is also there now there you can see after the carbon dioxide and the methane next one will be hfc 11 and 12 only 134 now uh, need to phase down not to phase out kyoto protocol there is a, another kyoto protocol joint implementation as well as there is a cds also will be there uh, i didn't remember chalo theek hai whenever i'll in my mind if i get that point i will tell you emission trading by cms emission trading okay let it be kyoto protocol joint implementation is related to the kyoto protocol and paris agreement is having nationally determined contribution nationally determined means each country will be having individual goals to reduce the greenhouse gases individual goals so those individual goals are titled as a nationally determined contribution those countries they have to decide by themselves next is that uh, CDM, full form of CDM please, I forgot. And Rio Summit is an, uh, related to, in the Rio Summit only biodiversity uh, convention has been uh, outcome. And International Solar Alliance is an affordable and uh, clean energy, reliable and clean energy. Mitigation measures to cope up with the flood includes elevating or protecting electrical service panels, protecting facilities with the barriers and sandbags, upsizing culverts to better handle the flood surges uh, as well as relocating the equipment to outside the uh, flood plain so here mitigation measures to cope up with the floods mitigation measures to cope up with the floods mitigation means the precautionary measures before happening itself you are trying to take the precautionary measures so those are precautionary measures elevating or protecting the electrical service panels electrical service wherever possible if it is near to this flood areas now we have to upsize that one and protecting a facilities with a barriers and sandbags we need to put the sandbags as a barrier to not to uh, come out the water from the dam and upsize means increase the size of the culvert whatever the wall is there now that uh, size has to be increased as well as relocating equipment if any asset or anything is there from that whatever the flood area is there from that flood area we need to remove and relocate it ah clean development mechanism joint implementation emission trading correct by so this kyoto protocol clean development mechanism joint implementation and uh, emission trading et 3r comes under the kyoto protocol dissolved oxygen is important parameter for water quality just now we have learned and this is more the dissolved oxygen fishes can be survived which is an aquatic animal already point discussed and most 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 is this only by this is the most important one and uh, i try to make the chart as much as clearly possible so now you are going to get one full clarity picture from this chart the most abundant element dried sewage, uh, sewage sludge is that dried is that which is the, uh, doesn't have water dried calcium so dried sewage sludge is that calcium and the correct sequence of sectorial global co2 emission as per the ipcc 2014 report but there is a 2022 report also i will be discussing those uh, in the uh, separate video building is the highest one lowest now they are asking increasing order building is the lowest one and highest is that uh, electricity highest is that electricity industry is in between in transport and industry now look at this carefully five important protocol or a convention 
the year they signed and adopted and what is the main agenda behind it. Vienna Convention 1985, it got signed by the countries but adopted in the 1987 year. Outcome of this Vienna is to have the Montreal Protocol. And Montreal Protocol signed in same year 1987 when Vienna got adopted. But this Montreal Protocol has been adopted in 1989. Means with effect from, implemented from 1989. Vienna Convention is what? Main aim is to protect the human health as well as environment from negative or adverse impact of the ozone depletion. What could be the reason for ozone depletion? That was the discussion which made in the Vienna Convention, which they decided to adopt a Kyoto Protocol between the countries, which is the outcome of the Vienna. And in Montreal Protocol, what the countries were agreed, let us try to decrease the ozone depleting substances, which we identified in Vienna. Those ozone uh, uh, depleting substances need to be phased out or need to be reduced. Because ozone depletion substances need to be, according to the Montreal, it is phased out. Whereas, according to the Kigali agreement, it is phased down, phased down, means to reduce. HFCs only needs to be reduced. Hydrofluorocarbons, those needs to be reduced, which is added into the Montreal Protocol in the 2016 by the Kigali Amendment Agreement. So, that made a change where the hydrofluorocarbon need to be phased down. Whereas, remaining greenhouse gases has to be phased out. Remaining emissions, what? Uh, remaining has to be phased down. Now, Kigali Amendment. Kigali Amendment, 15th October 2016. HFCs, hydrofluorocarbons, which is mentioned in Montreal Protocol, needs to be phased down. Here, ozone depleting substances not all the ozone depleting substances are greenhouse gases but which are ozone depleting substances phased out as per the montreal as per the kigali hfc has to be brought down has to be phased down hfc is not added into the list of the ozone depleting substances when Montreal got adopted. Whereas, whereas this HFC is separately added as an ozone depleting substance, which is actually a greenhouse gas that is added as separate by the Kigali amendment because that is also a reason for ozone depletion layer, ozone layer depre depletion. So, that has to be brought down because Greenhouse gases never be phased out. Greenhouse gases always need to reduce. Greenhouse gases never to be phased out. Ah, remaining are ozone depleting substances that are not greenhouse gases. Clear? Huh. Next, Kyoto Protocol, which is adopted in Conference of Parties number 3 and signed in 1997 but with effect from 2000 with effect from 2005 adopted the main aim is to reduce ha ah, greenhouse gases reduce the greenhouse gases mainly the carbon dioxide redu reduction mainly the greenhouse gas reduction correct rahul hfc is both ods plus greenhouse gas perfect Next, Paris Agreement signed in 2015 but adopted in 2016, Conference of Parties 21. Recently, which Conference of Parties have been conducted at Glasgow? 26. Right? So, Climate Action Paris Agreement here reduce the greenhouse gases to effort to limit the global temperature to increase this century to 2 degrees Celsius century to 2 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial level while pursuing the mean to limit increase of 1.5 degree 1.5 degree Celsius 2 degree Celsius above the pre-industrial level to while pursuing so it, it will be 1.5 degree Celsius to 2 degree Celsius please take a screenshot of this one by 
I will rub everything because this is most important for you. Kindly take a screenshot of this chart at least because this chart is important for the examination perspective. Kindly take a screenshot here. Let me add. Take it please. Montreal is legally binding, Kigali is legally binding, Kyoto is also legally binding, Paris is also legally binding, except Vienna. Next. <clears throat> what you are listening to the class by then if you are asking about a ODS full form look at ozone depleting substance under the goal 2 of the MDG United Nation member countries were to measure that 2015 children everywhere boys and girls would be able to complete the full course of the primary education this is MDG target target of mdg number 2 mdg 2 target which is a primary education mdg 2 right in india sorry india has a huge thorium reserve already i told you so that is potential source of nuclear energy because thorium we are converting into uranium which is a input to produce the nuclear energy. So, the thorium reserve mainly conformed in the coastal sands of the Kerala Sea. In the Kerala, it is mostly. Next, uh, the objective of specific to sustainable goals include responsible consumption and production, life on the land, reduce the inequalities. By the objective of specific, out of the 5 to 7, which is given in the question, these three were the SDGs, remaining were not SDGs. Remaining were not as that is why only three SDGs are listed over here. Emissions of hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. Emissions of hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide are inherently very low from the diesel vehicles. So, carbon monoxide, because carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons are more from the petrol vehicles as compared to the diesel vehicles. So, petrol it is more from the diesel vehicle, it is very less. That you can just look at by for this uh, a point of clarification is given over here. Look at why it is emission from a petrol car have been dramatically reduced by the introduction of catalytic converters which oxidize the pollutants such as carbon monoxide to less harmful gases such as CO2 and however petrol cars with a catalyst still produce more hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide carbon monoxide as compared to the diesel cars as compared to the diesel uh, vehicles the petrol vehicles are going to produce more hydrocarbons as well as carbon monoxide although exhaust emissions nitrogen exhaust emissions of nitrogen oxide particulates are much lower than the diesel cars diesel fuel contains no lead diesel fuel will not be having any lead mixing of lead and emission of regulated pollutants like hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. It is very low as compared to the petrol cars. So, when compared to petrol cars, the diesel is having higher as compared when compared to the petrol cars with a catalyst, diesel has a higher emission nitrogen oxide and particular. So, diesel is having higher nitrogen emission whereas petrol is having higher hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide. So, look at very clear. Diesel has a higher emission of nitrogen 
Petrol is having higher emission of carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon. Very carefully understand this point. From the 1.2 points, we got it. Next. Look at. The solar ponds store solar energy in the form of. Solar ponds are like, you know, which I explained. Like this one bowl will be there. Which is made up of aluminium, right? So, it will be like a one bowl will be there, solar pond. So, in the uh, that only, no, that is solar disk cooker, sorry. Solar water pond is there, no, water pond. So, in the water, we will make the one bowl like this, one bowl like this. And whatever the, when the sun rays are falling in the water, that absorbs the whatever the pollutants are there and remaining pure water will go down. Re remaining pure water will go down that will give a pure water to drink it after here uh, due to that solar energy which is falling due to that solar energy which is falling it will remove the pollutants <coughs> the define the gradient salt concentration the sector that contribute least to the global carbon dioxide emissions of 2014 as per ipcc report is transport as per the question and option this is but as per ipcc 2014 report now this is the position Building 6.4 percentage of CO2 emission, other energy 9.6, transport is 14 percentage we are having, industry 21 percentage, 24 percentage agriculture and forest land use, utility which is electricity highest percentage is that electricity. In one of the question we have seen electricity highest percentage of CO2 emission, agriculture 24 percentage, industry 21, transport 14, other energy 9.6 and buildings is the least one which is 6.4 correct nakul ye best hai any sound is coming look at as per the question that transport was the lowest because in the question building was not there that is why transport is the lowest contamination of aquatic animals by polychlorinated uh, by penis. pcbs toxic very toxic in nature can or originate from the sewage effluents and waste incinerations and toxic dumps this both are already discussed points so here yeah, sewage effluents is a drainage Next, if the intensity of the given noise increases two, two fold, two times. The noise level in decibel increase by approximate three decibels. So, here the intensity of the given noise, when the noise increases by two times, the noise level in decibels will increase by three decibels. So, when it is getting double, it will, it will, when it is increases by two fold, it will be another extra fold, three fold it will be. Coal, which is coal, one type of coal is that subbituminous. It's a type, it's a source of energy and combustion of producers. Maximum carbon dioxide per unit of energy or heat content will be more. Pounds of, uh, pounds of CO emitted per million British thermal units, that is BTU. British thermal units of energy for a various fuels in the right box. You can just check it out. By Coal is of four types usually. That is anthracite, bituminous, ignite and subbituminous. These are the four, four levels where the coal can undergo. Actually, the lowest one is that uh, the subbituminous will not be treated as a coal. That is very low quality. And CO2 emitted per uh, British thermal units are 228.6, 205.7 and uh, lignite is at 215 and 214 is sub Diesel, uh, diesel fuel and heating oil is 161.3, gasoline 157, propane 139 and natural gas is 117. This table you can remember for highest and lowest purpose in the upcoming examination. Where the different types of coal? Uh, lowest one is that peat. Uh, peat is a low quality and lignite is a second submituminous and bituminous anthracite is the highest. Uh, 
पीट लिग्नाइट विटामिनस एंथ्रासाइटा सब विटामिनस द मोर द हीट मोर क्वालिटी ऑफ कोल विल कम द लेस द हीट लेस क्वालिटी फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ लॉन्ग टर्म लो एमिशन डेवलपमेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज बाई ईच कंट्री वॉज सजेस्टेड अंडर पैरिस एग्रीमेंट दो आर कॉल्ड एज एंड वॉट प्लीज टाइप इट इन द चैट बॉक्स nationally determined contributions nationally determined contributions some metals which are released into the environment from a variety of anthropogenic sources the metals which have been serious concern from the point of view of a pollution of a water bodies are the metal number 1 mercury cadmium and lead these are the three metals these are the three metals which are a serious concern from the pollution point of view that to mainly the water pollution point of view when it is released into the environment two sounds of same intensity but different frequency characteristics may appear to be of different loudness two sound of same intensity with the same intensity you are making a noise or you are making a sound but that may appear to be a different loudness the sound will appear is a different different so that is the response of human ear to the noise is different frequencies is not uniform same sound may not be may not be audible to all in a same way so the frequencies of appearance will be different frequency of appearance will be different no buffering everything is clear no 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 ha ah, nationally determined contributions long term low emissions long term low emissions development strategies by each country are crucial to realizing the goals of paris agreement long term low emission development strategies by each country are crucial to realize the real uh, goals of the paris agreement because what is the intention behind the paris agreement reduce the greenhouse gases as much as possible so that global warming or the global temperature will come down nationally determined contributions declared by each country because every country they are having their own ndcs are not sufficient to keep the rise in global temperature up to 2 degree celsius above the pre industrial level so whatever the each country targets are the contribution which they made that is not at all sufficient because they themselves will not reach that their goal they themselves will not reach their own goal so when they are not even reaching their own goal obviously that is not at all a world goal also world goal will not be get reached next the correct sequence of uh, decreasing order of the lifetimes of greenhouse gases aa gaya greenhouse gases lifetime nitrogen oxide cfc11 methane surface ozone they are asking decreasing order means highest life nitrous oxide and uh, cfc11 methane surface ozone actually as per the option this is if the option as per the uh, original one uh, the highest life will be for what uh, global warming potential sfc6 na i think sf6 or methane sulfur fluoride is it sf6 sulfur hexafluoride or else which is the highest No, no. Lifetime, lifetime. They are asking if the global warming potential, na the global warming potential. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. But I think global warming potential carbon is the lowest. SF six is highest, right? Whereas lifetime ulta, lifetime ulta, where lifetime of the carbon will not be considered. It will start from the methane. It will start from the methane because. GWP global warming potential wise uh, SF6 will be highest whereas lifetime wise the methane will be highest if i am not wrong uh, this is i i just forgot the table by the factual details are not in mind you can confirm don't take this as uh, don't take this as a final one whatever the chart which i given in separate na take that as a final one hurricanes and typhoons are necessarily same as tropical cyclone but every place is calling that uh, hurricanes and typhoons in a different different places in a different different way 
Convention protocol originated from the Rio. Rio summit 1992 gave a birth to United Nation framework on climate change and combat desertification and CBD which is biological diversity also. And the goals of uh, goals are part of the SDGs are industry, innovation and infrastructure, reduce the inequality, partnership to achieve the goals, partnership to achieve the goals. The following countries in an increasing order according to the installed capacity of wind energy. France, increasing order means France lowest, second lowest, Germany is third lowest, highest is that China, after that USA, after that Germany, after that India, after that France. This is as on 2018. Wind energy capacity, installed capacity, not a potential. China number one, USA, Germany, India, France. Sunlight is a prerequisite for formation of a photochemical smoke. Because when the sunlight, <coughs> volatile organic compounds, when they interact with the sunlight, they will form a photochemical smoke. Photochemical smoke will get formed. When the volatile organic compounds interact with the sunlight, that will form a photochemical smoke in the urban areas. So, here photochemical smoke, recurring phenomenon in the winter season. Recurring phenomenon in the winter season in urban areas of India. Photochemical smoke. Photochemical smoke, which is a recurring phenomenon in India during the winter season mainly, not in the summer season. So, in the urban areas of India. During the winter month, the speed of the wind is slow and mostly the stagnant means a constant a speed of the wind will be there. So, this causes a smoke and fog to accumulate at a single place. Smoke and fog to accumulate at a single place. Right? So, global warming potential of a molecule, GWP, global warming potential, most important, the order of the greenhouse gases decades to 100 years because maximum global warming potential is limited to 100 years which may vary significantly and some greenhouse gases has a shorter life as compared to this 100 years also. As compared to this 100 years, some will be having less. That is compared to the carbon dioxide. Compared to the carbon dioxide, some greenhouse gases will be having a shorter lifespan. Shorter lifespan and China has China has not signed or ratified the International Solar Alliance Framework Agreement. China has not signed the International Solar Alliance Framework Agreement. So, here China is, China is uh, not ratified, but recently Sweden, Sweden entered into International Solar Agreement or the framework, Sweden. Sweden. Yes, yes. Till now also China not ratified the ISA, but recently Sweden has entered over here, entered into agreement. Energy production from the biomass has traditionally been considered as a carbon neutral. Carbon dioxide emission from the combustion of biomass are sequestered by growing a biomass, sequestered by growing a biomass. So, here carbon neutral, carbon neutral. You can see energy production from the biomass has traditionally been considered as a carbon neutral and carbon dioxide emission. By year, biomass is an actually a natural energy. So, as it is a natural energy, it is carbon neutral and less emissions will be there and uh, biomass are sequestered by growing the biomass. Means, it is more advantage to grow the biomass and use the biomass energy that will be better for the pollution also, which will decrease. Next. <coughs> For wind power electricity generation, the type of rotors is propeller rotor. This is the 2021 question also. Propeller rotor, the wind power electricity generation, the rotors, various types of rotors will be there. Out of that, propeller rotor is most commonly used in the wind power generation. Chronic toxic effect, chronic and acute, two types of effect will be there. Chronic is result from the single dose of very high, so high toxic substa substance are a continuous exposure to a sub lethal dose and this will be a long lasting because chronic is nothing but a major major effects major health impacts which are very dangerous in nature very serious in nature 
and which are long lasting irreversible due to the prolonged exposure to the toxin. Toxin means which are highly uh, harmful uh, pollutants, which will survival rate is very low, means people may die also. Survival rate is very low, the people may die also. The only United Nation Treaty related to the environmental issues which have been ratified by all 197 member countries which is Montreal Protocol. This is legally binding also. This is legally binding also. The only treaty which has been ratified by all the member countries, all the member countries that is 197 which is Montreal Protocol. As of now, le leading country in wind energy production is China. I already given higher order, lower order of the wind energy potential capacity, installed capacity also of a different, different uh, uh, phases. Next, solar water still. Solar water still is a device which is produce a portable water. Portable means which can be drink, drinking water. Drinking water is called as a portable water, portable. So, what a solar water still is nothing but you will use the solar energy, the sunrise and there is a device will be there, water still device. You will keep under the sun where the water will come on to that one and it will get heated. It will be converting into and drinking water by removing the saltiness. So, here black carbon aerosols, BCBs, BCA sorry. Black carbon aerosols is a primary air pollutant. It is a primary air pollutant which is black, black carbon aerosols. And in reverse, oxygen is added into the water by diffusion from the air due to the turbulent and rapid flow. If the oxygen is not there, now, if the oxygen is not there, the more the oxygen and uh, the aquatic animals will be more. Right now, the temperature will be, the temperature should be less. Inside light, uh, temperature must be less. So, more oxygen and then only the uh, one aquatic uh, survivals will be there. Now, that will be survived if the oxygen is there inside. Otherwise, it will not survive. Next, exposure to excessive noise pollution. When you, when the excessive noise pollution can cause hearing impairment, you are Ears will not work. You can't able to hear properly. Insomnia means sleeplessness. Sleeplessness. And third one, rise in the blood pressure. BP also will get impacted. So, BP will increase due to the high sound and uh, work efficiency will come down. Work efficiency will come down. In photovoltaic system, that is PV system, smallest to the largest unit. Smallest to the largest unit ranging from solar cell module array array field. So, solar cell is a small part that is a single cell. When multiple solar cell will become a module, when multiple module will become an array, when multiple arrays will become array field also, array field. This is the lowest to highest ranges from smallest to uh, largest. That is how, uh, see, this is how it will look. Solar cell is a single one. When the cells are multiple, na, then it will become array. What is that? Solar module. It will become module. This is module. When multiple modules, this is one module. In the same way, another module will come. So, that will be array and when this multiple arrays will become array field which is the largest inside that solar cells will be there. That is how it will look like. <coughs> Next the type of particulate matter, the type of particulate matter. You can see the type of particulate matter pollutant is used in calculation of the air quality index. In the air quality index, PM 10 and PM 2.4, 2.5, both will be used. Here the size is 10 micron or less, 10 micron or less, which is 10. Here 2.5 micron or less, which is fine, which is ultra fine particle. Can you please tell? 
विच इज फाइन एंड अल्ट्रा फाइन पार्टिकल फाइन एंड अल्ट्रा फाइन पार्टिकल सो पी एम टेन इज अ फाइन पार्टिकल एंड अल्ट्रा फाइन इज एन टू पॉइंट फाइव राइट सो इंटरनेशनल अग्रीमेंट एंड प्रोविजन मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल इज फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द कंजम्शन एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द हेलोन्स मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल एंड क्योटो प्रोटोकॉल एमिशन ट्रेडिंग इज एन अग्रीमेंट रिलेटेड टू क्योटो प्रोटोकॉल ओनली नॉट ओनली एमिशन ट्रेडिंग द कन्वेंशन ऑन दट इज एन सीडीएम सीडीएम अरे आई एम फॉरगटिंग एवरी टाइम दिस वन एमिशन ट्रेडिंग एज वेल एज ओके प्लीज टेल द रिमेनिंग टू रिमेनिंग टू मार्केट मेकानिजम विल बी देर ना भाई जॉइंट इंप्लीमेंटेशन सॉरी एमिशन ट्रेडिंग जॉइंट इंप्लीमेंटेशन another one will be there so convention on biodiversity is clearing house mechanism this is a clearing house mechanism is one agreement as part of the biodiversity convention and the main aim of the international solar alliance is that clean and affordable energy need to be produced <coughs> ah clean development mechanism correct Thank you, Piyush. Clean development mechanism (CDM). Next, toxic hazardous and uh, its major sources. Vinyl chloride is coming from the plastic, plastic and industrial usage. Polychlorinated biphenyls will be electric insulation. This is the e-waste. e waste right benzy uh, benzopyrene is an waste insulation not e waste general waste municipal solid waste it is whereas polychloric uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons is an fuel combustion p a h which is polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons is a fuel consumption fuel combustion means emission of the petrol and diesels <coughs> the multilateral fund for the implementation of montreal protocol was under the 1991 article 10 of the treaty objective is to provide financial and technical assistance to the developing countries parties so montreal protocol whose annual per capita consumption and production of a ods is less than the 0.3 kg so those countries whose per capita consumption or production of ozone depleting substances is less than 0.3 kg to comply with this control measures of the protocol those will be getting a funding multilateral fund activities from this fund the those countries who are maintaining a ods below the 0.3 kg uh, to supply so those people will be getting those countries will be getting a fund from the multilateral fund which is set up by the montreal protocol right <coughs> and implemented by four international agencies united nation environmental program united nation development program united nation development organization and world bank as well as a uh, bilateral agencies of non article 5 countries non article 5 countries also existed over here total 1 2 3 4 total four entities who are implementing this one right next a global warming potential of a molecule global warming potential of a molecule following greenhouse gases relative to the co2 in a decreasing order relative to the co2 in a decreasing order comes under sulfur hexafluoride sf6 chlorofluorocarbon 12 and cfc11 nitrous oxide methane by they are asking in the point of view of the decreasing order means high to low high to low greenhouse gases what order global warming potential now global warming potential sulfur hexafluoride after that cfc12 and cfc11 cfc11 and nitrous oxide and methane
nitrous oxide and methane. This is a usual sequence, highest to lowest, highest to lowest. Uh, global warming potential sequence. <clears throat> Next, here sick building syndrome is a condition of a human health due to indoor air pollution because the sick building syndrome. Blue baby syndrome is due to lack of oxygen in the body uh, uh, blood, but uh, this sick building syndrome is due to the improper building, the inside pollution will come, the indoor air pollution will come because of the building uh, problems only. Because of the building problems only, the indoor air pollution will be there, that comes under here. And dioxins, dioxins and furans are highly toxic. Highly toxic means highly harmful in nature, mainly during the incineration of the municipal solid waste. By, I think you can find the things, these are the uh, regular things which you can find in your localities. Municipal waste, uh, one dumping yard will be there, where they will burn that entire municipal waste, whichever is collected for a longer period. So, whenever they are burning this na, insulations of a municipal solid waste, which is they collected from all over the humans. So, that waste, whenever we are putting a, and burning like that, na, whatever the gases or the pollutant which are released from them are called as an dioxins and furans. Dioxins and furans, not only uh, municipal solid waste, it is also comes under the uh, the industrial wastage burning also, which is hazardous and medical waste also, when you are incinerating, it will be heavy, right? <coughs> Next, a dis uh, dissolar cooker, very easy, dissolar cooker. Dissolar cooker has a reflecting material of anodized aluminum sheet has a reflecting material of anodized aluminum sheet, anodized aluminum sheet. So, needs to track the sun to deliver power about 0.6 kilowatt and uses a parabolic dish to concentrate the incident solar radiation, incident solar radiation. By there is a uh, bowl like this. Solar bowl. This solar cooker means that is how the bowl will be there, which is anodized aluminum sheet only will be there in that and it needs to track a sum of almost 0.6 kilowatt power need to be produced by using that solar cooker where the solar sunlight will be falling onto that cooker and that will be reacting, the aluminum sheet will be reacting to produce the energy. This parabolic, the uh, shape is parabolic, now parabolic leash is to concentrate incident solar radiation means where the sun rays are falling onto that it will be capturing and 15 to 20 minutes we need to adjust this one for every 15 to 20 minutes we need to adjust this one and in this we can cook also we can cook and uh, heat the water many things can be done right next international agreement uh, legally binding on the member countries are biological diversity montreal protocol Montreal Protocol legally binding. Next, carbon dioxide emission from the bioenergy have it traditionally excluded from the most of the emission inventories and climate impact because bioenergy is an not negative. This is not negative. That is why bioenergy is okay to manage. That is why it is excluded from the most emission inventories. That is not most emitting one because bioenergy is not that much impact negatively on the environment. Next is that carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide emissions associated with the production of bioenergy are significantly less compared to those combustion of fossil fuel because fossil fuel like a petrol, diesel, na, uh, the uh, crude oils, crude oils, all these are fossil fuels. So, by using that one, the combustion or emission will be in the environment will be huge. The CO will be produced, carbon monoxide, whereas by producing this bioenergy, that much pollutant is not going to be emitted into the environment as compared to the fossil fuel because these are petroleum products, oil products. Next, wind energy is very sensitive to the wind velocity. Wind velocity is a high level concept by calculation. So, wind power is directly proportional to the cube of the wind velocity. So, wind, wind power is equal to wind velocity. cube, wind velocity cube, 
क्यूब ऑफ द विंड वेलासिटी इज इक्वल टू विंड पावर राइट क्यूब ऑफ द विंड वेलासिटी इज इक्वल टू विंड पावर ड्यूरिंग द फिजिकल ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ द वेस्ट वाटर हा मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ऑल्सो सेम एस एस एफ एफ वॉट इज दट एस एस एफ एफ sedimentation sorry screening sedimentation flocculation and filtration is the waste water treatment process from the uh, non drinking water to when you insert the non drinking water into the stages of this process of drinking making fresh water screening it will be done it will remove some particle after that next process sedimentation it will remove the small small particles flocculation adding a chemical powder the powder will be there now which is like a bleaching powder it will add Finally, it will filter and give it as a drinking water. That's how it will go. Thank you so much, sir. So these are screening, sedimentation, flocculation, and filtration. Yes, yes, and FF. Right, and carbon monoxide, which is CO. CO is a serious aspirant. Uh, even a short exposure may have a fatal health issues and hemoglobin present in the blood have a greater affinity towards the carbon monoxide than oxygen by what is this asphyxiant even i forgot the meaning of this one asphyxiant means uh, less toxic less harmful in nature less harmful so carbon monoxide is serious asphyxiant uh, which is even as short exposure may have a fatal by it is uh, more harmful na then serious asphyxiant means it should be more harmful than but as per the dictionary meaning it is not non toxic serious non toxic oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it is no no we can spell aspixient aspixient non toxic but it is not non toxic it is toxic only which is more toxic more harmful in nature where you can't able to breathe properly due to co is a serious asphyxiant where it is more harmful even short exposure to this carbon monoxide may, may lead to fatal health issues means it may break down your the breathing system also hemoglobin present in the blood has a greater affinity towards the carbon monoxide than oxygen because hemoglobin which is present in the blood now in our blood hemoglobin will be presented that will be having more uh, affinity means more support to the uh, carbon monoxide means as compared to the oxygen you can protect uh, via hemoglobin only because uh, uh, oxygen may not protect you from this but hemoglobin if it is present properly in the blood na that will be acting like a support to protect your health so mangrove trees mangrove trees are big big trees which will protect the vulnerable coastal lines vulnerable coastal lines as they hold the soil together as they hold the soil together as they hold the soil together soil means by whenever the big big uh, mangrove trees are grown na there the soil will be very strong the coastal areas will be there coastal areas coastal areas that is why there uh, there is no chance to occur any type of uh, natural disasters also it will be protecting the soil in a together way which is uh, very strong way it will be holding the soil the sources of solid waste are residential areas daily we are producing a solid waste institutional areas 
agriculture all these three are the sources of solid waste In institutional means where it will be like you know hospitals and all agriculture is and pesticides and all <coughs> ah co removes oxygen from our blood due to which it will become fatal that is why to protect from the co pollutant which is very serious to it hemoglobin only will be the one which will be protecting sources of soil pollution industrial effluents industrial effluents and pesticides radioactive waste industrial waste pesticides chemical fertilizer and effluent and sewage material like asphalt and leather cans plastic glass paper dead bodies improper management of septic system all these are polluting the land only which is soil pollution upper layer of the land the central aim of the paris agreement to strengthen the global pressure to global response to a threat of climate change to strengthen the global response to a threat of climate change is comes under the paris agreement because global warming need to be controlled next till what point see these are there okay next to two slides are left bus चलो वोलाटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड विच इज अ प्राइमरी पोल्यूटेंट दे मे कॉज अ कैंसर एंड दे प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फोटोकेमिकल स्मोक आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू व्हेन वोलाटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स व्हेन दे इंटरैक्ट विद अ सनलाइट व्हेन दे इंटरैक्ट विद अ सनलाइट दैट विल फॉर्म अ फोटोकेमिकल स्मोक फोटोकेमिकल स्मोक विल बी formed volatile organic compounds when they interact with the sunlight will form a photochemical smoke sustainable goal life below water aims at conserving sustainably using the ocean sea and marine resources because these are natural resources we should not use as we want and because water is plentifully available in our uh, per our earth uh, but water is 3 by 4th and uh, earth is only just a 1 by 4th portion 25% only not even 25 Out of the entire world, now ninety-seven percentage is water only. Three percentage is just a, three percentage is just a land. So the three percentage also the drinkable water is point two five or one percentage only max. <coughs> Next is that greenhouse gases adopted in Kyoto Protocol include. So this is most important. Right? Kyoto Protocol greenhouse gases are. carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide hydrofluorocarbon perfluorocarbon sulfur hexafluoride carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide hydrofluorocarbons perfluorocarbon and sulfur hexafluoride right here it is carbon dioxide and uh, nitrous oxide hydrofluorocarbon perfluorocarbon sulfur hexafluoride out of this na this hfc is most important hydrofluorocarbon this is an it's a greenhouse gas number 1 point and this also this can also be an ozone depleting substance whereas remaining greenhouse gases not the ozone depleting substances they are only greenhouse gases this is both it is both greenhouse gas and ozone depleting substance climate pledges under the paris agreement is one third of the fraction of greenhouse gases emission reduction is needed to limit the global warming 2 degree celsius this is degree 2 degree celsius one third of the greenhouse gases one third of the greenhouse gases need to be reduced so one third fraction of the greenhouse gases need to be reduced so that we can limit the global warming below the 2 degree celsius 
द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ नॉइस पोल्यूशन ऑन ह्यूमन इज गवर्न बाय इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द नॉइस ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द नॉइस सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन एयर एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी रेंज ऑफ द वॉइस इंटेंसिटी मीन्स द लाउडनेस आई वुड से लाउडनेस एट वॉट इंटेंसिटी दैट अदर पर्सन आर द साउंड इज कमिंग एंड हाउ मच टाइम डू यू आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग द सेम sensitivity to the human air and frequency of the range of the voice that comes under this pollution which is the human health is governed by that and polar stratospheric clouds are associated with the environmental issues of polar stratospheric clouds are associated with the environmental issues of ozone layer depletion polar stratospheric clouds polar stratospheric clouds स्टार्टोस्पियरिक इज एन अपर लेयर विच इज अ बैड ओजोन नो ट्रोपो इज बैड ओजोन ना दिस इज गुड ओजोन विच इज प्रोटेक्टिंग अस दिस इज गुड ओजोन विच इज प्रोटेक्टिंग अस फ्रॉम दी यूवी रेडिएशन प्रोटेक्टिंग फ्रॉम यूवी रेडिएशन and here if if this layer is getting thin na automatically ozone depletion will happen that will directly uv rays will be falling onto the human which can cause which can cause the skin cancer and eye irritation which can cause the skin cancer and eye irritation also a measure such as building plinth wall for the floods would be termed as an prevention a measure such as building a plinth wall for the floods would be termed as an prevention it would be termed as an prevention next is that 107 at present in india total installed renewable power at present in india total installed renewable power capacity is accounted for solar power wind power hydro power and urban and industrial waste to energy conversion and biomass power so here solar power wind power hydro power and urban and industrial waste to energy conversion and biomass power these are part of the renewable energy renewable energy solar wind hydro urban and industrial waste to energy from the waste also we can produce the energy that is what right now recycling system and your most relevant effect of the particulate matter in the air is that aggravation of respiratory respiratory means lungs related lungs diseases related to lungs Ah, tropo is bad also. Exam center may Hindi, English, both languages. X. No, no, no. Here actually, as per the latest one, Hindi and English they are separately giving. Means you cannot see both the languages in a single screen. If you select the English, English only will come. If you select the Hindi in initial while starting exam, in Hindi only will come. other will not come and here it is crucial to sustain himalayan ecosystem and himalayan ecosystem is a home to number of many indigenous tribes it is crucial to sustain himalayan ecosystem and himalayan ecosystem is mainly for the indigenous tribes means who are the tribe in that area na tribe who are uh, living in the himalayan areas himalayan uh, hills areas there and in developing countries fraction of food waste food waste is a consumption of municipal solid waste is typically in the range of greater than 40 percentage by food waste in the consumption of a municipal solid waste is typically out of the municipal solid waste food waste is contributing 40 percentage in the developing countries out of the entire municipal solid waste food waste is the 40 percentage greater than 40 percentage and clean development mechanism is part of the kyoto protocol we have already understood clean development mechanism climate change can have a serious consequence of water security food security and erosion of coastal zones erosion of coastal zones so how how we can protect from the coastal zones we we must uh, uh, encourage the mangrove trees we need to plant this then only coastal areas will get protected next final three points photochemical smog in urban areas is known to cause they will cause a respiratory which is lungs diseases eye irritation nose and throat infection reduction in visibility also photochemical in the urban areas can cause can cause this usually uh, photochemical uh, smoke will be volatile organic compound plus sunlight will be forming the smoke 
विच विल कॉज अ रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीजेस आई इरिटेशन नॉइस एंड प्रोटीन इंफेक्शन एंड रिडक्शन इन विजिबिलिटी ऑल्सो लैंड स्लाइज इज ए जियो फिजिकल ऑरिजिन जियो फिजिकल ऑरिजिन लैंड स्लाइड एंड द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रेन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेस इंक्लूडिंग लार्ज हाइड्रो पॉवर प्रोजेक्ट इन द टोटल इंस्टॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक कैपेसिटी इज थर्टी फाइव परसेंटेज बाइस लार्ज इज थर्टी फाइव लार्ज हाइड्रो पॉवर इज थर्टी फाइव परसेंटेज वेर एज स्मॉल हाइड्रो पॉवर विच इज रिसेंटली आज क्वेश्चन इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन स्मॉल हाइड्रो पॉवर इंस्टॉल्ड इज द ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज मैक्सिमम सो लार्ज इज थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी एंड स्मॉल इज ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज मैक्सिमम फर्स्ट जस्ट लेट मी टेक यू थ्रू विद रीसेंट अपडेट विच इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एन आई आर एफ रैंकिंग सो वी नो वेरी वेल आलरेडी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस वन बट जस्ट अ रीकैप ऑफ वन सो दट वी विल नॉट मिस द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस एरिया बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द एक्चुअल रिविजन लेट्स वार्म अप विद दिस रेडी गाइस हाँ प्लीज गिव अटेंडेंस बाई हिटिंग अ लाइक बटन NARF ranking 2022 overall category that is overall category MBB MBB so that is IIT Madras is again on top like a 2021 same ranking were there 2021 now also it is same IISC Bangalore and IIT Bombay these three were the top three institution MBB. IIT Madras, ISC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, right? In the university category, ISC Bangalore, and uh, the second one is the Jawaharlal Nehru, which is Jawaharlal Nehru University, JNU New Delhi, and third one actually third one has to be a Banaras Hindu University, but uh, now it is Jamia Millia Islamia New Delhi. These three were the top three universities in India as per the NRF ranking 2022. in the management category i am ahmedabad and i am bangalore these are the top two i am a and i am b i am a and i am b and i am c so a b c management category a i am a i am b bangalore and i am c kolkata i am c kolkata a b c were the management categories right next is that nrf ranking college category college category always on top mirinda college mirinda house delhi and hindu college delhi presidency college tamil nadu these were the top 3 colleges in india as per the college category and pharma category jamia hamdad new delhi and naipur hyderabad national institute of pharmaceutical educational research are i thought it went off okay sorry so punjab university third uh, third one these are the top 3 pharmacy category of the rankings nrf nrf ranking medical nrf ranking medical which is aims delhi all india institute of medical sciences delhi and post graduate institute of medical education and research pgimer chandigarh pgimer chandigarh christian medical college vellur tamil nadu christian medical college vellur tamil nadu so those were the top 3 medical category colleges and in the engineering ca uh, category iit madras delhi bombay engineering category madras delhi bombay and architect category iit roorkee calicut nit and iit kharagpur these were also same as 2021 2021 and 2022 both are same and law category nls iu bangalore that is national law school of india university bangalore and national law university delhi as well as symbiosis law school pune maharashtra that is on third so it is bangalore nls iu and here nlu delhi symbiosis is third one and research institution isc bangalore always on top madras and delhi is on second and third dental category savita institute of medical and technical sciences tamil nadu Manipal College of Dental Sciences, Manipal, Karnataka, and Dr. D. Y. Patil, Vidya Peet, Maharashtra. These were the top three colleges uh, in dental. In dental, top three institutions. So these were the NIR ranking, which are recent uh, 2022 ranking, which were issued in this month only. Now let us start with uh, our official 
quick revision of the single lines ready likes and people are not matching kindly hit a like button if you like the session do not forget that one let's start the first open university established in the year 1982 this is b r ambedkar open b r ambedkar b r a b r ambedkar open university b r a o u b r a o u that was in andhra pradesh 1982 now it is in telangana hyderabad asynchronous communication takes place through discussion boards vlog and blogs technologies asynchronous is not real time not live not a real time communication this is of asynchronous both are not present at a time next year stages of value development stages of value development is an cc cc c c a c c c a c c is a keyword for value education stages those are value collection value assessment value clarification value consolidation collection means observing trying to observe the parents are the elders and imitate the same behavior from them that is what observing and imitating the adult behavior from them we are trying to collect the values that is number one assessment means we are trying to assess ourselves choosing and imbibing the values one cherishes so whatever that values that we wanted to get it that will assess ourselves and get it for us and clarification is in finding out a gap in values what we are having what we don't have the gap we will identify which we don't have will try to acquire that values the, those are comes under the finding out gaps and values preach and practiced value consolidation is an highest stage this is the highest stage accumulation of all the above three stages these are comes under the value clar consolidation predictability of a human behavior is assured predictability of a human behavior is assured means here human behavior is going to be predicted based on the three types of above values that he acquired and consolidatively he is going to implement all those things which will be converting into one behavior next para aparavidya paravidya aparavidya so paravidya aparavidya paravidya is uh, the means of knowledge which transcends the human experience whereas aparavidya means a knowledge that is based on the human experience so appara is an lower level knowledge whereas para is an higher level knowledge transcends the human experience is nothing but para vidya will take you through with the self transcendence means it is about spirituality religion various high level concepts will be taught over here which will change the entire human experience and uh, whereas aparavidya is purely based on the human experience it is purely based on the human experience which is lower level based on the human experience means this is our academic learning academic learning is an aparavidya academic learning is an aparavidya which is purely uh, like our pg ug phd all these are aparavidya only which is low level knowledge that we are gaining ah Ulta, ulta, bhai. Transcends, transcends a human experience, para. Based on human experience is an apara. Next, entry number 66 of the Constitution of India. Entry number 66 of the Constitution of India deals with coordination and determination of standards in institutions of higher education or research in scientific and technical institution in scientific and technical educational institution what are the standards that we need to maintain that has been listed down in the entry number 66 of the constitution of india with regard to the standards of higher education all right next is that national programs of technology enhanced that is nptl is one of the learning platform which is working for the providing online courses which are for free that is a type of MOOC which is initiated by the 
MHRD or Ministry of Education in 2003 mainly for the engineering education purpose. So, because NPTEL National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning for the engineering purpose only. After that, there are four modes of education supply as per the WTO, as per the World Trade Organization, as per the World Trade Organization, WTO. that is WTO. There are four modes of supply of education, which is mode number one, cross-border supply, mode number two, consumption abroad, mode number three, commercial presence, mode number four, movement of natural persons. So, your cross-border supply of education is nothing but distance education or virtual education, corporate training through ICT. Here, we will not physically go to any other country, they will not come to our country. We are meeting only via by using information communication technology and pursuing a courses by sitting at home only. Next, mode number two which is consumption abroad. We will go to other country to pursue the education or they will come to our country to pursue the education. A student travels to another country to enroll into a course to study our degree like my brother is doing MS in Canada, my, my sister is doing MS in Australia like that people will tell na, those are comes under the consumption abroad. They are consuming education abroad right next is that mode number three which is a commercial presence language training company and companies local universities satellite campuses these are commercial presence so we are setting our educational institutions we are setting up in our other country our other country in universities are setting up in our in our countries these are commercial presence both are mutually setting up physical branches next movement of the natural persons instead of moving the institutions or setting up the institution People who are teaching the expert, the professor over here and professor over there. Professor over in other country will come to India and professor from India will teach to other countries also. That is what movement of a natural person. Who are the natural persons in this education, pro pro education service providing? The teachers are the researchers are the professors. Right? Do hit a like button guys. Next. Asta Dhyayi was written by Panini. Panini, it was an literature. He is an literature related. Next, Takshila is an ancient center for higher learning in India. It was declared as a world heritage site in 1980 year. Whereas another which is Nalanda, this is Takshila 1980, Nalanda declared as a world heritage site in which year by? In 2016 or 15 it got declared if I am not wrong, 2015 right? So, RUSA, Rastriya Vuchitar Shiksha Abhiyan is a centrally sponsored scheme. RUSA main aim is to provide a strategic funding to eligible SHEs that is state higher educational institutions. SHEs only they will provide a funding which was launched in the year 2013 which was launched in the year 2013 this this scheme got launched now it is rusa 2.0 is working rusa 2.0 is under implementation stage nalanda 2016 correct okay that is what i told 2009 they have initiated but later 2016 final declaration has been done. GR gross enrollment ratio, gross enrollment ratio. This is nothing but the percentage of a students who are enrolling into the higher education uh, courses that to age gap of 18 to 23 years of age group people who are enrolling into higher education. Out of this 18 to 23 years of students are the people, are the persons, how many are enrolling into higher education? They are pursuing education. That percentage represents the GR, gross enrollment ratio. So, here, who are eligible population, total eligible population is 18 divided by 23 years. Out of that, how many people are enrolling? That is what the ratio. Present GR is how much by? Present GR is how much? Present GR is how much? 
27.1 it is present as per the recent report but my question is who will calculate this one and which report will give us this gr ratio which report will give us this gr ratio what is that report name please report name is that aishe all india survey on higher education recent report has given this outcome next the statement best describes the value education value education means increasing the values and ethics of the children student observe and imitate adult behavior that is value collection c Structure. students investigate and explore their own inner self which is assessment and it encourages the student to fix their place in their life which is a consolidation so c a c actually c a double c Con collection assessment and uh, clarification consolidation out of that three are given over in this question next match the following swayam is mainly to earn a credit because if you do the swayam courses you will get a credits that learning credits will be useful in the academic success and here swayam provides high quality educational program that to dts satellite based program will be there 34 dts channels are available yesterday i try we tried to explore this one we have seen the channels also how they are working and what content they are providing lively we have seen epg patshala is mainly e content platform where pg and ug related content to get a free books and curriculum based e content will be there according to the requirements and e yantra is and to get hands on experience in embedded system mainly the robotic robotic engineering e yantra mainly for robotic engineering robotic engineering for the development the courses related to that only hands on experience of the robotic engineering right next in delhi university corresponding courses were started or initiated in 1962 so first university in india who started corresponding courses is that delhi university started in 1962 so delhi university is the one who started the corresponding courses correspondence courses initiated in 1962 first university it is who initiated correspondence courses liberal education at the higher education level is a feudal society of a Europe. This feudal society of a Europe is having classified into trivium as well as quadrivium. Trivium, trivium and quadrivium. Quadrivium is this one, trivium. Trivium is an GLR. That is grammar, logic, heteric. Grammar, logic, heteric is an trivium. Whereas quadrivium is an higher level of education. Uh, is that arithmetic, astronomy, geometry, music. A, A, G, M. So, this put together total 7. Total 7 are there in the feudal society of a Europe. Their classification is trivium, grammar, logic, heteric and quadrivium, arithmetic, astronomy, geometry and music. Right. Next is that community college. What, what is the meaning of the community college? It is primarily intended for creating a work ready manpower on a large scale. So community colleges mainly, mainly those colleges are working to create a manpower for as per the requirement of the companies or the industries. So they are creating those type of students who are ready with a skill to do the work in the companies on a large scale. Those are called as community colleges, skill based colleges. Next is that synchronous communication is an live, where the live communication, which could be video chat, virtual classroom, audio conferencing. Yesterday when I was discussing the uh, video conferences softwares, which was given in the 2020 exam, 2021 exam, there is a big blue button, big blue button, correct now, which is one software or the website is there which is for the video conferencing there is another video conferencing which is webex google meet google meet all these are useful for the all these are useful for the video conferencing where you can interact on a live basis video conferencing others video your video will be interacted ah, microsoft teams microsoft teams that is also next 
levels of academic freedom in higher educational institutions those are personal level professional level institutional level societal level personal level of freedom academic freedom yes standard of behavior and ethics that we adopt and develop for ourselves being a teacher being a student your values your ethics also important so that is once self is indicating self behavior self ethics that we adopt for our own development and professional is that to execute your profession that i am a teacher so to execute my profession what are the values that i am acquiring for implementing in my profession that is a professional level of uh, uh, academic freedom that we want democratic functioning means considering on the both side we should not be on one side democratic functioning in higher education system and believing in each individual is worthy of attention because you should not be an biased one it must be an unbiased give the equal treatment to all equals unequal treatment to unequals institutional level is an exercising the personal and professional both mixed up together will be an institutional so within the concept of higher education institution because this personal and professional when you implement both that will be a part of the institution and societal is something beyond the institute so values which influence and cushion the operation of higher education this is how you are developing the society you are teaching or you are doing some work as a profession but how you are influencing the society in what way you are uh, supporting to the society those are comes under next next the chinese scholar ai zing zhuang zeng visited ancient nalanda university in the 7th century of the in the 7th century this fellow is appeared in the recent exam 2022 recent 3 days exam happened out of that one of the shift this question got asked zhuang zeng again came the scholars buddhism related next in the year 1952 the union government decided all the cases pertaining to the allocation of the grants in aid form from the public funds to the central universities and other universities and institutions of higher education might be referred to the university grant commission so here all the pending cases whatever the cases who are pending for the disbursement of funding to the central state or various higher educational universities or institution those all should be refer to the ugc because ugc is the one who is granting the funds who is giving the funds right who is giving the funds who is granting the funds so that body must be take care about deciding the cases pertaining to any of the public fund to be invested on the universities a university or universities are established by central and state act under the 2f of the ugc act 1956 whether central university by an act of parliament it will establish state university by an act of assembly it get it will established but the both universities must obey the rules which is mentioned under section 2 f of the ugc act 1956 and deemed to be university section 3 of the ugc act 1956 after fulfilling the conditions which is mentioned under section 3 there are almost 11 to 12 important condition which is for our examination perspective after fulfilling those conditions only our ugc will recommend the particular college or autonomous institution to become a deemed university that will be referred to the central government central government will notify that university as an deemed to be university right and according to the international commission on education for the 21st century headed by the jockers delar there are seven tensions given by the jockers delar how many tensions seven tensions four principles four principles and seven tensions so as per this unesco report which is headed by the jockers dela the tension will be witnessed in the 21st century are seven tension those seven tensions out of the seven tensions are tension between the global and local tension between the tradition and modernity tension between the spiritual and material there are other four tensions also there total seven tensions and four principles next uh, categories of environmental education this is about environmental education this is joel question because very 
very very close words they given awareness knowledge attitude skill and each of the statement that they given is matching to other one also each of the statement that they given is matching to other also because awareness what usually will think awareness literal meaning is that spreading the knowledge spreading the knowledge about something that is here about environment to help the social groups and individual acquire a sensitivity to the total environment so we are helping to the social social group or the individuals or a group of people we are trying to educate them about the environmental protection and all how we need to use and the environmental knowledge knowledge means to help the social group and individual gain variety of experience by gain variety of experience means their knowledge is going to be improvised when they experience something in practical that is what the environmental knowledge tk till here no problem now look at the attitude to help the social groups and individual acquire a set of values acquire a set of values so this acquiring a set of values can be a knowledge also right but your values doesn't have any proper measurement that is why it is part of the personal level which is an attitude in that way you can understand and environmental skill help the social group individual to identify and solve the problems solve the problem because this is a practical skill is an practical we must help them to solve how to solve the problems which are having any problem those has to be solved next next the three greatest challenges facing in higher education in india are described by ficci can anyone please spell out the full form of this one federation of even i forgot actually uh, chamber of commerce and industry something will be there but uh, i want a proper one kindly search and uh, tell me or if you remember you can tell right so those ficci those challenges are expansion is one challenge equity is another challenge excellence is another challenge so these three were the major issues which is stopping us to go for the global education these three are in, uh, issues which are interlinked to equity to a large extent depending on the expansion and access because we want to provide excellence excellence service and all but here excellence is always backed up by the quality we have to be a very qualitative one to go globally right so again equity and expansion equity means giving equal opportunities to all expansion means paisa we must allocate the proper fund out of our national income to education industry to go uh, to go globally or nationally also both federation of indian chamber for commerce and industry great thank you vanilla and bharti features of sorry regulatory bodies within the department of higher education are ugc is for non technical educational institutions aicte for technical educational institution distance education council for distance education in india but this body got removed now this body got replaced by igno now igno has taken the entire charge of the open education in india distance education in india next features that describe the most about the indian values are indian values emphasize on collectivism because unity is the strength that we believe and emphasis on social progress always uh, there is a social progress develop development in the society must be there and it uh, emphasis on social stability growth is important growth is important protecting that growth is also important because constant growth must be there this year full growth is there next year full loss is there that's how we should not go so social stability means constant a periodical progress has to be there next next do hit a like button guys 29th ugc in india is a statutory responsibility for maintenance of quality and coordination of institutions quality and coordination of the non technical institution remember coordination of the higher educational universities and institution and ncte national council for teacher education is a regulatory body for teacher education it was established in 1995 started operation but ncte act 
एनसीटीई एक्ट नेशनल काउंसिल फॉर टीचर एजुकेशन एक्ट गॉट एस्टैब्लिश इन नाइनटीन ईयर सॉरी Act got passed in 1993, but this body under this act started their operation in 1995. In university governance, the executive head is vice chancellor. He is the executive head. He is the administrative head, right? Vice chancellor. He is the executive and the administrative both head. Next. Jagadala Ancient University provided a teaching of special subject Vajrayan Buddhism. Vajrayan Buddhism, along with other subjects, Vajrayan Buddhism majorly taught by the Jagadala Ancient University. And in the University of Education system, prevalent in the following bodies, our committees looks after the formal approval of the courses. So, courses mainly the co curriculum and the courses approval mainly. They are asking about the formal approval of the curriculum and the courses. This is both are related to academics. So the academic council of the university will be the highest body related to the academic matters of the concerned university. So curriculum courses decided and confirmed are approved by the academic council, executed by these courses. Once they decided, the proper decisions of EAC, that is academic council. Will be implemented or executed by the respective faculties of the BOS, that is Board of Studies, BOS Commerce, BOS Management, BOS Chemistry, BOS Geology, like that. The action plan of Academic and Administrative Reforms Committee, which was Gnanam Committee, Professor A Gnanam Committee, as a convener, so they have given choice-based credit system CBCS because of this person only it came, Professor Gnanam Committee. Curriculum development must be there, and there will be a number of student-faculty contract hours during a semester. For a faculty member, for every semester, the target number of hours will be there. For a students also, target number of hours and credits will be completed. That target is there for the student. So both are in obligation to complete the contracted hours. They cannot go below. If they go below, they will get failed. So, for the introduction of the total quality management concept in universities, TQM concept in universities, we have to be consider, we have to consider participatory management and rigorous administration procedure as well as SWOC analysis, strength, weakness, opportunities and challenges we need to identify. Then only we can implement this total quality management because improve is the quality of educational institutions or the universities. In order to improvise that one, you must have the participatory management because management, usually management will have a vision and mission, proper high level thought process. But the who are implementing the faculty members or the non-teaching staff, they will not support to achieve that target. So that is why participatory type of management only is for, will be must and should for achieving this TQM. Otherwise, quality will not be achieved. <coughs> Next, yogaism union of the body with the mind. Our body and mind both both are going to meet each other. The mind with a soul and of the mind with soul. Mind with a soul is called as an yoga. Yoga is a union of body with a mind and of mind with a soul. These are called as an yoga. Both value education and environmental education are integral part of the program being conducted. Uh, at the school or college. Here, value education and environmental education. This is about the values of a person. This is about protection of the environment. Both are integral part of the education that we have been conducting. Next, India first national policy on education uh, was a sequel to the recommendation of which of the following committee. So, Kothari Commission recommended a national education policy has to be drafted and implemented. So, upon that Kothari recommendation only, NEP 1968 is the first and foremost educational policy after the independence because before the independence there is a Sargan plan of action 1944 that was also education policy but after the independence this is the first policy. National Education Alliance for the Technology that is NEET 
and an mhrd scheme aims at better learning outcome in higher education that to by using artificial intelligence public private partnership ppp mode a customized learning is going to happen in this a customized learning is going to happen in this by using artificial intelligence this is a public private partnership initiative according to the requirement of a learner he can customize and learn learn the higher education related content mainly the technical content related engineering related related content will be there coding and all ppp next the first national sports university set up in manipur manipur national sports university a central government university which is a central university i would say next is that the committee or a commission in their report recommended that since the education and research should uh, receive a higher priority to accelerate the national economy is that kotari commission again so research as well as education and research both has to be promoted and mainly they have also recommended scientific research should be more promoted scientific research should be more promoted as per the kotari commission scientific research and development must and should right a predatory journal what is predatory journal predatory is and for by taking money without any process of peer reviewing and editorial processing and all they will just publish it where no peer reviewing or no reviewing properly less quality of the less quality of the matter and all they will publish it those are called as an predatory journal which are illegal in india an institution in the field of higher education desirous of getting status of deemed to be university ah look at by the section 3 condition section 3 of the ugc act section 3 of the ugc act 1956 section 3 of the ugc act 1956 so this section 3 of the ugc act is dealing with dealing with conditions to be satisfied to become a deemed university then only ugc will recommend the college or institution name to become a deemed university to the central government then central government will give approval for that so to uh, whether to suggest or to recommend by recommended by the ugc you must and should satisfy this condition first university or institution must have been existed for 20 years 20 years experience for that institution must be there who wish to be a demod university a demod university must have at least a five post graduate department five pg department like a mcom commerce department and physics department geology department management department like that five department pg department that to post graduate courses departments and demod university to uh, is a non affiliating courses non affiliating courses because demod university cannot give a affiliation to other colleges to conduct their uh, administration a teacher student ratio must not be less than 1 is to 20 because for a one teacher 20 for every 20 students one teacher must be there that is a minimum criteria according to the nac which is national assessment accreditation council so as per this nac which is a non technical educational institution assessment body for them cgpa must be 3.26 or 27 this is for the non technical institutions for the technical educational institution nba the assessment body is that national board of accreditation where two third of the courses two third of the courses must be accredited by the nba to continue further that nba must be continuing two third of the regular courses which they are running so if they fulfill this nac criteria and nba criteria that is one of the condition and that institution who wish to be a demod university must and should get top 100 in overall ranking of the nirf overall ranking of the nirf top 100 or else or else top 50 in respective specialization top 50 of nirf ranking in the category category wise speciality like a dental category or the universities category or the research category and architect category medical category pharmacy category we have seen na so in that category top 50 it must be there overall top 100 or top 50 in the specialization 
Next is that according to the national skill qualification framework, there are various levels are there. Level number eight is an level number eight is an undergraduate honors degree where the four years is going to be there. So every semester will have a 30 credits will be there. Every six months will have a 30 cre uh, credits. Out of that here, almost a 180 credits, uh, not 180, but 30 means how many? 240 credits must be there, but here only 180 or 200, uh, 220 will come. I don't know exactly the number of credits. 180 will come here, I think. 180 credits, if I'm not wrong. Chalo. MHRD scheme with one. With one also, I've shown the website yesterday. With one is a database of the various experts and researchers and scientific researchers also are the scientists and the expert professors also will be there. Their profiles will be listed in this Vidwan website. Whoever the young scholars who wish to take a suggestions, who wish to uh, seek advice from them, they can just log on to this portal called as an Vidwan and they can take help by texting to them. Their credentials will be available over there. Right? <coughs> Next, in ancient India, the eligibility criteria in respect of the student seeking admission in Takshila. Takshila was 16 years, whereas Nalanda was of 20 years minimum. 20 years minimum. Nalanda 20 years and Takshila 16 years to get admission into this Takshila University or Nalanda University. Kotari Commission had a recommended certain percentage of the national income to be spent on the education sector in India. That is minimum 6 percentage he suggested. Till now, he suggested in 1964 to 66 report. Right. But this never realized by Indian government of any of the government. None of the government has allocated this much 6 percentage. But they are spending so much on other cases. Next, a United Nation Environmental Program came into existence in 1972. 1972 is a Stockholm conference. Correct now, Stockholm Conference, which is on the human environment mainly. Mainly, it is an international program on environmental education that is IEEP came into existence in 1975. This was the wrong answer given by the NTA, the uh, 2020 examination, where UNEP came into picture in 1972. IEEP uh, existed in, came into existence in 1975. 1975. Right. Uh, thoda wait karo bhai. Next, Chalo. according to the census 2011, which state or union territory had a maximum number of graduates in relation to population is Chandigarh. But as per the 2011 census that is, now recently ASHE report also given as per that it is got changed somehow. An inter-university center for yogic sciences has been established in Karnataka. Yogic Sciences Inter-University Center IUC got established by UGC in Karnataka. Government of India initiative E Shod Sindhu. E Shod Sindhu is an for the e journals. Yesterday I have shown this also. E Shod Sindhu is an website which is for the research accessible journals. E journals will be available over here. Whereas E Shod Shuddhi will be there. Shuddhi is an plagiarism software. Shuddhi is an plagiarism software. It's a plagiarism software. Where to plagiarism detection software, PDS. Vikramshila University is situated on top hills along with the bank of river Ganga as well as known, uh, 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 was well known for its special specialized training for subject of tantrism. Tantrism. Tantrism is a um, type of black magic. So, Vikramshila is uh, located on the top of bank river Ganga and it is well known for the subject of tantrism. As per the NSQF, 
undergraduate bachelor's in vocational degree having 180 credits having undergraduate bachelor's in vocational degree having 180 credits this will be a three years three years 180 credits because six months 30 credits means every year total 60 credits six into three 180 mhrd government of india ar double ar double stands for utter ranking of the institution of innovation and achievement utter ranking of institution and innovation and achievement these are the ranking of 2021 only available 2022 is not available ayurveda ayurveda which deals with indigenous system of medicine could be traced to other veda so there are four vedas we have other veda yajur veda samved and uh, uh, are what i forgot Sam Veda, Yajur Veda, Athar Veda, Rig Veda. <laughs> By going into the discussion, we will forget the basic also sometimes. Technical institutions come under the ambit of National Board of Accreditation. Technical institution because technical NBA. Technical NBA, non-technical NAC. Next, indicators of external accountability for the institutions of higher learning. Indicators of external accountability for an institutions of higher learning is relevance of the course study material because according to the requirement of a course proper uh, material must be available but a course also should be structured as per the societal requirement the market requirement performance of a student in a public examination is also another because external accountability means every institution must be answerable for the outcome that of that institution the outcome will be how well their students are performing in their public examination employment of pattern of pass out student Chalo, public examination they are getting qualified but how many are getting employed that is also another three parameters where every higher education institution has to be accountable and answerable for those three Next, here object, uh, sorry, academic council, academic council is the body, highest body or a statutory body in the university having a power to accord the formal approval of the programs and courses. All the academic matters by total, all the academic matters will be finalized and approved uh, approved by them only academic matters objectives of performance appraisal system includes to help an employee in finding out his or her own strength and weakness to help in creating a desirable organization ethos to help in identifying a people for the purpose of motivating and training them for a new role so a objective of a performance appraisal system includes to help an employee in finding out his or her own strength and weakness, help in creating desirable organizational ethos, ethos are nothing but ethics, right, and help the individual people for purpose, uh, purpose of motivating and training them. They are asking about performance appraisal system. Performance appraisal means to give a reward or to determine their performance. Next, distance education. Distance education is a modality of higher education is an example of evolution of post independence because a corresponding courses were there and uh, where uh, who can't able to continue their education they can study at any time in their life that is what the distance education mean. <coughs> ah, pathos, logos, ethos. Ah, three given by Plato, correct. Now, the education imparted through institutions of higher learning such as Sanskrit Vidya Pita is an example of Oriental. Oriental means literature. Oriental means mainly the literature learning. 
लिटरेचर लर्निंग राइट नेक्स्ट इज दैट स्टेज नंबर वन कलेक्शन इनर एवेल्युएशन इज नथिंग बट ए असेसमेंट एंड क्लारिफिकेशन विच इज अ कंफ्लिक्ट क्लारिफिकेशन स्टेज नंबर फोर कंसोलिडेशन द वाइस चांसलर ऑफ अ यूनिवर्सिटी इज एन एग्जीक्यूटिव हेड नॉट ओनली एग्जीक्यूटिव ही इज एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव हेड हु इज वेस्टेड विद एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एज वेल एज अकेडमिक रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज बिकॉज ही इज द वन हु इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द एंटायर यूनिवर्सिटी ही इज द वन एंड यर फॉर द चरिस्मैटिक लीडरशिप एट्रीब्यूट इन अ वाइस चांसलर बोथ ट्रांजेक्शनल एज वेल एज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल लीडरशिप बिकॉज ट्रांजेक्शनल इज डीलिंग विद ऑपरेशन ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटीज conducting the operations of the university mainly whereas transformation is bringing a change in the university his mark must be there na so bringing a change in university operations and bringing a change in university this both are charismatic leadership next for ensuring effective administration the most difficult changing the behavior of a individual and gr uh, groups ensuring administration ensuring effective administration by the biggest difficulty is that implementing the policies that will happen only when you administer effectively the defectiveness in administration system is that these people who are implementing the policies now individuals and employees and groups they will not accept the whatever the changes that they made the resistance to change will be there due to that only defectiveness will come teacher education institution belonging to the professional category because teaching is a profession like a doctor like a lawyer universities of nalanda vikramshila of ancient india are now all located in indian territory whereas only takshila which was a ancient indian educational university that was now that is now located in rawalpindi district of pakistan punjab province pakistan punjab province <coughs> Pakistan Punjab province right and yet the entrance test of its own kind was prevalent in the ancient seats of learning in india there was a entrance examination was conducting at that time in ancient universities to get into it atal ranking of higher education institute and university is related to achievements in innovation and entrepreneurship because ar double ia ranking every year they are releasing ar double ia ranking they are releasing for those institutions who are developing in the innovation and entrepreneurship for them the ranking will be given benevolence and univer and universalism benevolence and universalism are the basic values characterized by the central motivational goals that are related to self transcendence because self transcendence are again this term meaning is indicating universalism and benevolence because you will not think about yourself you will you will think about the universe you will think about the huge population you will think about the others so that is what self transcendence beyond the self is called as an self transcendence beyond the self beyond the self is called as an self transcendence <coughs> holistic education holistic education and next holistic education in ancient india was not just an acquisition of knowledge as as preparation for a life in this world or life beyond the schooling but complete realization and liberalization of self holistic means 360 degree all types of things should be educated means child should get developed not only academic level societal level and maturity level every everything has to be developed in a child are a student that is what a 360 degree education called as an holistic education has to be provided next <coughs> overall development of a child correct 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 ho gaya people ka excitement so values of pluralism mutual understanding and a peace constituted the foundation of holistic education during the ancient education 
values of pluralism mutual understanding and the peace these are the three one which are based for holistic education during the ancient because pluralism means considering all not just about one individual and mutual understanding between the teachers and students peace were the three based for holistic education university is centered on the viharas viharas during the ancient india uh, were situated on nalanda vallabi jagadala what is viharas actually tell viharas are what is it travel Ah, these are all buildings only. Type of hostels. A type of hostel. They are viharas. So, university is centered on the viharas or else uh, the, those buildings during the period were situated are Nalanda, Vallabi and Jagadala. Out of actually why these three were given, you know, the other remaining options were not indicating uh, the ancient one. That is why I think these three were chosen. Ah, learning center or to staying center where they were, wherever they are residing. The steps followed in the process of value education. Students are presented with an issue. Yes, once the issue came to you, once the issue is uh, presented before you, the students will suggest the alternative solution to that one. Students consider the consequence of each alternative. If you take this alternative, what will be the sequence? What will be the consequence which is going to happen? So the end result also they will explain. Student express their feelings about the each of the alternative and student express their preference and make a choice out of the many alternative decision providing a best alternative decision will be the task of the student only and as per the 2019-20 higher education ASHE report all India survey on higher education report 27.1 is a GR UGC portal ESARTS ESARTS is there ESART is standing for scholarship Scholarship Fellowship Award Registration Tracking System. Scholarship Fellowship Award Registration Tracking System. So, this will be a portal which will be solving your fellowship and scholarship related matters. Now, I need to start this one. Paravidya. <coughs> right. So, let us start guys. Continuation of the same and how many uh, single liners are there uh, for the day. One one four. This is third twenty one. Okay, more seventy or fifty around. So paravidya, aparavidya. We have a two things. Paravidya implies higher level of knowledge, which is hum, uh, human transcendence is going to be there. Knowledge that transcends the human, which is transforming entirely. Whereas aparavidya is based on the human experience. Aparavidya is based on the human experience. Apara. Appara is a lower level knowledge. It's a lower level knowledge which is based on the human experience. Which is based on the human experience. Right? So now the underlying purpose of the environmental education is to promote the individual critical thinking about the emerging issues. Emerging issues means which are happening in the environment and increase the public awareness about the environmental issues. As well as enhance the problem solving and decision making skills in respect of handling the environmental issues. So, these three were the purposes of environmental education, environmental education purpose. And here, Ministry of Human Resource Development, or now it is Ministry of Education, MOE. In India, the RUSA supports the following component RUSA is a Rastriya Uchatar Shiksha Abhiyan. So, Rastriya Uchatar Shiksha Abhiyan launched in 2000. 13 year. This is Rastriya Uchathar Shiksha Abhiyan. So, 2013 is the year of launching. This is upgrading the autonomous colleges to the status of university. Upgrading means 
to uplift dar to provide infrastructural support at the development support and setting up of a new professional colleges in unserved areas wherever colleges are not there there we are going to set up providing a infrastructural grant but this uh, this scheme will not provide the grants or the funds for maintenance maintenance of in university will be provided by the ugc not by the rusa scheme right and more scholarship programs to be uh, to supplement the cost of education this is another uh, objective of the rusa ICT initiative, information communication technology usage, initiatives of MHRD deal with e-governance. So, e-governance of institution is called as a Samardh. Samardh is one of the scheme where this Samardh scheme is related to e-governance implementation in India. E-governance, how the electronic governance means administration of entire higher education institutions. That portal is called as a Samardh portal and linking the all uh, governance uh, type of institution or activities under this portal. And a de novo institution is a deemed university. De novo institution is a majorly, so not deemed to be university. So, de novo is majorly for the innovation, innovation purpose, innovation and research and development that is it characterized by focused teaching and research in unique and emerging areas of knowledge. De novo institutions are like a demon universities. So, it is one of the demon universities where the main agenda is to innovation and research and development is comes under here. De novo. <coughs> right. Guys, do hit a like button. Today, less members are there. Don't know what happened sometimes. When you will be active, when you will be uh, in the inactive position, only you people knows. Let it be. All India Council for Technical Education was set up as a statutory body by the Act of Parliament 1987. By the Act of Parliament 1987, AICTE. So, AICTE initially as an advisory body established in 1945. Later after 1945, 1987, it became a statutory body. Next, the characteristics of effective team and institution of higher learning. The atmosphere tends to be informal in which members of uh, team are involved. Atmosphere tends to be informal in case of where the uh, team members are involved here. Effective team. Effective team. Informal means a casual talk whenever it happens other than the formal discussions. If the informal discussion will improve the social relationship of a members that will increase the team participation also. There is a lot of discussion in which everyone participate. This will be an effective team. The task of the groups as well as understood and accepted by the group member. So, group task should be accepted and implemented by the each and every group member. Then that will be an effective group. The members of the group are not afraid. Means not fear of putting their ideas which is there in their mind. If they are fearing now, that will not be an effective team. If they are without fear, if they are putting their ideas in front of the team. Whether they are accepted or not accepted, that is a consequence. But they should have the opportunity to... Uh, put forth their ideas in front of the team. That will be an effective team. Next, helping individuals and social groups acquire social values. Helping individuals and social groups acquire social values which will contribute to the development of environmental attitude. Which will contribute to the development of environmental attitude. Because attitude towards the environment is getting developed over here by having this, helping the individuals and social groups. So, each and every individual and uh, other groups of the society also, if you are trying to help them to the development of their environmental attitude, means you are concerned about the environment. The principal responsibility of academic council is including maintenance of quality and standards of the academic program, whatever the PG, UG programs, planning, coordination and development and oversight and review of academic programs of university, planning, coordination, development and oversight. So, they have to plan, they have to coordinate with all BOS and they have to implement all the policies under this. Right. Next one is that types of appraisals. Appraisals means review, a type of a review of performance. So, developmental appraisal is concerned with the moral, ethical and professional values. How the development of that particular job or the job holder job holder i would say rather than job job holder because appraisal will be useful for the persons not for the positions so moral and ethical and professional values improvised by that person 
uh, being a person in that job, what you improvise. Managerial appraisal is nothing but concerned with doing and achieving. Because managerial level is not just like clerical level. Managerial is something achievement of the goals and given objectives. A lazy fair is a somehow lazy type. Lazy type of person. So, you are concerned with the importance of self-development. Lazy fair. And uh, judgmental is concerned with the maintenance of social control. So, are you in a position to make a judgment on other person or not? That comes under here. <coughs> Next. Next is that the prominent women scholars during the Vedic period were Gargi, Maitreyi and Vishwambara, Apala. These four are the important women scholars in the Vedic period. In the Vedic period, Gargi, Maitreyi, Vishwambara, Apala, four members. And Cape Central Advisory Board of Education. Central Advisory Board of Education. Central Advisory Board of Education. Right. So, it is the highest body to advise the central and state government on the education matter to make a educational policies. That is why first policy which is made in the 1944 which is Sargan plan of action has been prepared by the CABE only. CABE is the one who has implemented. <coughs> Next is that the following form of following form part of the criteria for assessment in higher education. So, which is laid down by the NAC. NAC 7 criteria is there. Total NAC criteria are 7 parameters. 7 or 5 parameters. 7 parameters, yes. 7 parameter out of that in this specific question only 3 parameter got asked. Is it 3? Yes. 3 parameters got asked. Those are curricular aspect as well as teaching, learning, evaluation, research, innovation and extension. There are 4 other parameters also there in the NAC assessment procedure. Next, in the context of skill based vocational education, NSQ of competency level number 8 is equivalent to UG honors degree. NSQ of Level number 8, level number 8 is equal to 180 credits. So, where 180 credits, but this is honors degree is uh, almost equal to 4 years. So, that skill based vocational education NSQ of level number 8 is 180 credits and undergraduate or UG honors degree course. Board of studies is a basic units of academic system of the university. Board of studies is a BOS. BOS is a Academic highest body in every department, every, every discipline they will have the respective BOS like BOS Commerce, BOS Management, BOS Chemistry, BOS Botany, BOS Geology, BOS Physical Education, Psychology, Philosophy, every department will have their own BOS. All BOS are working under the <coughs> regulation of the Academic Council. Academic Council is the highest body who will take the academic decision that all should be implemented. All those decisions should be implemented by every uh, faculties BOS has to implement. <coughs> right. Next is that Vedangas and subjects. Nirukta etymology is a subject and Chandas which is metrics. Shiksha is phonetics. Kalpa is a ritual. These are the respective Vedangas and the subjects dealing by, subject dealt by the Vedangas, respective Vedangas. The concept of values explained by, values are the beliefs that tied intricately to human emotion and behavior because this belief, what I believe is my emotion and my behavior that is. So, my beliefs are being uh, judged by my emotion and behavior and these values refers to desirable goals of a people strive to attain. So, I wanted to achieve this moksha or else highest values that I wanted to maintain in my life. Means those are the goals that I wanted to achieve by maintaining these values. So, values are the orders by importance of relative to one another because the CACC, I think you remember the value education. Those are having a proper order, CACC, that order cannot be changed, that order is constant, right? So, do hit a like button guys, in order to, uh, I think, are you getting any, are you getting any uh, warning over there in below? Those who subscribed only can text, like that. 
I tried that option today, whether it is working or not, I don't know. Once you have to confirm. Chalo. The mandate of the UGC means they, they are asking about here functions of the UGC. Functions of the UGC. Yes, sir. Very good. Super. So, please do subscribe. The mandate of UGC, University Grant Commission, promotion and coordina <coughs> coordination of the university education, as well as determining the standards, determining and monitoring the standards of teaching, standards of examination, standards of research. Everything has to be determined by the UGC only. And it will frame the regulation and minimum standards mainly. Regulation and minimum standards of education and faculty recruitment, assistant professor recruitment and degree lecturer recruitment, everything. The According to the UGC only they have to go disbursing mainly this function. Funds, granting the funds to the universities and the UG colleges also funds will be given by them only. Next, what is CACC? Uh, collection, value collection, value assessment, value clarification, value consolidation. That comes under the CACC. Next. Equality of educational opportunities is a precondition for achieving the equity in education. Equality. So, must provide the equal opportunity to all, then you can achieve the equity. So, to achieve the equity, equality should be the base. To achieve the equity, equality should be base. So, equal opportunities means serve the same equal amount to all. Then you can achieve the equity automatically. So, this equality is a condition for equity. Next, equity in education. Equity in can be achieved with a qual equality of educational opportunities. That is what? This statement has been reversed. Ulta in other question. Equity in education should be achieved only with a equality. First, you implement the equality. Then, you can achieve the e equity over there in the education. Next, the disadvantage of CBCS. Choice-based credit system. Choice-based credit system is introduced by the UGC. And it includes focus on student-centric education. And it allows a student to choose other discipline also, which is interdisciplinary and intradisciplinary courses. Makes education at par with a global excellence. Means, as per the global standards, education is going to be there. As per the global standards, education is going to be there. Global standards. Next, offer a flexibility for a student to undertake the studies at a different time, at a different institution. Means, multiple exit options are available. Like first year one, second year. Multiple exit options are available for the students to pursue their education at a different, different times in a different, different institution. Right. Next. Value consolidation through integration stages will be considered as relatively advanced stage in value education. So, consolidation is a final, final stage of the value education. <coughs> final stage of the value education. Next, the ancient Indian university famous for studying Hinayana. Studying Hinayana was Vallabi University. Ancient Indian University famous for specialized study in Hinayana was Vallabi University. So, Vallabi University is majorly famous for Hinayana Buddhism. Jagadala was famous for Vajrayana Buddhism. Next, the key result of Sankalp. Sankalp, which is a project for skill acquisition, knowledge, skill acquisition and knowledge awareness livelihood program. Skill acquisition skill acquisition and knowledge awareness livelihood program sankalp sankalp is a institutional strengthening <coughs> sorry sankalp is for institutional strengthening and quality assurance and inclusion of everybody to pursue the education and acquire the skills also expanding the skills through pppp mode public private partnership this is almost same as like you know neat National Education Alliance program is there, na? Neat, 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 I think. 
नेशनल एजुकेशन अलायंस नीट आर नीट नीट राइट नेशनल एजुकेशन अलायंस फॉर टेक्नोलॉजी आई थिंक नीट कस्टमाइज लर्निंग नॉन कन्वेंशनल नॉन कन्वेंशनल मींस मॉडर्न सो मॉडर्न कोर्सेस आर Gerontology, ethical hacking, and pet groomers. Gerontology, ethical hacking, and pet groomers are modern or non-conventional coursing courses. Reform related to the areas of governance listed by the Niti Aayog in the Three Years Action Agenda. In the Three Years Action Agenda, 2017 to 18 year to 19 to 20 year. 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20. Years are. majorly the reforms that they brought related to civil services electoral services corruption related these are the three year action agenda of the niti aayog which they have done in the 17 18 to 19 20 three years three financial years right next the teaching in the universities of ancient india was controlled by board of eminent teachers the teaching in the ancient universities teaching the university of ancient india was controlled by board of eminent teacher the affairs of nalanda university were administered by board of vikramshila universities so here the affairs of nalanda university administered by board of vikramshila because nalanda and vikramshila is having a common board common board of eminent teachers common board of eminent teacher between nalanda and vikramshila administration is done by the vikramshila university for a research in social sciences the organization working is that icssr indian indian council for indian council for social science research social science research right so indian institute of advanced study iias is located at shimla this is viceroy bangla we call it as located at shimla so it is a residential center for free and creative inquiry into the fundamental themes and problems of life mainly the life learning will be there in this so indian institute of advanced study located at shimla it's a residential center usually this is a viceroy bangla so problems of life and thought will be there ah 1969 1969 of what ias ah or icssr case method of teaching case method of teaching is an in depth analysis in depth in depth is an case study so here it is capturing a imagination and initiative of the students crucial importance imagination means when you analyze when you analyze you will get the imagination when you analyze you will get the imagination so that will be a past, part of the case study method of teaching next a vital role in human resources development of the country centered on skill manpower productivity and quality life of the its life of its people focused on the domains of technical education by technical education name itself is saying this is a skill based type of education skill oriented because electrical electronical engineering electrical engineering electronic and communication engineering mechanical engineering computer engineering so like this skilled manpower and their productivity quality of life means before this digital era and uh, after the digital era the life is became life is somehow easy uh, by using this internet and all so due to this type of skilled humans only a uh, skilled type of ta talented people only invented all these things and due to that the quality of life of people also is getting increased it is getting developed due to innovations and developments which are happening due to this technical education only if the technical education was not existed this much uh, drastical changes will not happen at as uh, less point of time next is that in order to be eligible to that demod university status an institution among the essential condition must have to its credits 
बट आउट ऑफ द ऑल कंडीशन इन दिस स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन मिनिमम टू मिनिमम एटलीस्ट एट टू रिसर्च पब्लिकेशन हेज टू बी पब्लिश इन पी रिव्यू जर्नल्स आर ए स्कोपस जर्नल्स आर वेब ऑफ साइंस जर्नल्स पर एवरी वन इयर पर वन फैकल्टी पर इयर पर फैकल्टी सो मिनिमम टू रिसर्च पेपर्स इन द इंटरनेशनल पी रिव्यू जर्नल्स आर स्कोपस जर्नल्स पर इयर पर फैकल्टी पर फैकल्टी दैट इज वॉट दी कंडीशन वन ऑफ द कंडीशन ऑफ डी मोड टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी स्ट्राइड 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 इज एंड एम्स टू सपोर्ट द इनोवेटिव रिसर्च प्रोडक्ट those are socially relevant locally need based nationally important and globally significant this stride is majorly for a social science research only because social science research why social science the social problems has to be addressed socially relevant locally need is there for to do the research on that and nationally important and globally significant those issues will be picked up and researched by them right after that under the guards जनरल अग्रीमेंट ऑन जनरल अग्रीमेंट ट्रेड एंड सर्विसेस जनरल अग्रीमेंट ट्रेड एंड सर्विसेस हायर एजुकेशन पॉलिसीज आर टू बी फ्रेम बाय द कॉमर्स एंड ट्रेड डिपार्टमेंट बिकॉज एज पर द ग्राड दिस इज अ ट्रेड पॉलिसी राइट आर ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट अंडर द डब्ल्यू टी ओ सो एज पर दट हायर एजुकेशन पॉलिसीज आर टू बी फ्रेम बाय कॉमर्स एंड ट्रेड इंडस्ट्री ओनली एंड The main recommendation of Knowledge Commission. This is NKC, National Knowledge Commission, NKC. With regard to the higher education in India, massive expansion of higher education, focus on affirmative, positive actions, efforts to achieve the excellence, efforts to achieve the excellence. These are the three major recommendations uh, done by the National Knowledge Commission in the 2005 year. National Knowledge Commission, right? next this is the last slide i believe part number 2 na uh, last slide chalo central universities are to be considered elite higher education institutions in india and despite their elitist image and those institution do not find a place in the top order of the ranking actually here central universities are considered to be elite in higher education institution they are the top most quality but still they are having that much great image and high quality of the work is going inside the institution still they can't able to find a place in top order of the international ranking that is a difficulty which is going on because ground reality is different and they can't able to find a place in the top order of the like a qs uh, world ranking of the higher education institutions as well as times ranking asia ranking none of the ranking is getting uh, the indian central universities are getting a place into it right the 10th five year plan approach paper on higher education focuses on internationalization because not only 10th five year plan majorly our indian education is majorly concentrating on global mechanism global education that is what the agenda of nep 2020 also not only nep 2020 for this we have two things one is nep 2020 recent one national education policies promoting international education foreign universities uh, bringing into india and all moreover cbcs evaluation is also aiming at the same CBCS evaluation is also aiming at the same. Next, the highest college den uh, density, that is highest number of colleges per one lakh student. Colleges per one lakh student. This is number of colleges per every one lakh student. That is between the eighteen to twenty-three years of age group belong to Karnataka. so belong to karnataka highest density means per 1 lakh students how many number of colleges the more number of colleges per 1 lakh students are karnataka highest one highest one is karnataka next ugc care has been set up for promoting a quality research care this is a care list will be there this is a list of journals in this journals list only you must publish your research paper 
every every year or time to time ugc is updating a fake journals list and their names and their track record in this care report or ugc care list so by looking at the journal who are in the care list and who are out of the care list you must be in a position to recognize then only do that so it will promote the quality in research it will promote the academic integrity also it will promote the publication ethics because there is a predatory uh, uh, journals are going on predatory means they will take the price they will take the money and they will publish predatory journal they will just take the money without any peer reviewing or ed editorial board they will publish it that will decrease the quality that will decrease the integrity that will be a violation of ethics <coughs> Right. Next is that HEFA stands for Higher Education, Higher Education Financing Agency. Higher Education Finance or Financing Agency, HEFA stands for and the concept of community colleges. I already told you community colleges is major aim of the community college is that those whoever students join into that community colleges, every student must get the employability, employability skills employability skills that is life skill engagement lateral entry into the higher education system educational opportunities for the rural students so main aim is to bring the educational or employment opportunities for the student with a skill improvement they will give the proper skills which will which they will get ready for the industry industry skill will be developed by them as per the requirement of industry the community colleges will develop the students and they will give the students to that particular industries which will increase the employment ability opportunity to the rural students. Right? That's about it. As per the target, that is only. We have more 13 single liners we can do. We have more 13, 1, 3. Just a 1, 3. Not even 5 minutes it will. 10 minutes max. Hello, thank you for what? Ruko, Jara, class is there still. There is a scheme under the UGC, Human Rights and Value Education Scheme. Component of this scheme are encourage the student, encourage the student in research activities, develop the interaction between the society and educational institutions, and it is sensitive to the citizen, sensitive to the citizen so that to the sensitive citizen so that norms and values of human rights are realized means creating awareness about the human rights creating awareness about the human rights comes under the this particular human rights and value in education scheme and the university ugc was formally inaugurated on 28 november 28 december 1953 by sri maulana abul kalam ajad sri maulana abul kalam ajad who is an first education minister in india first education minister in india maulana abul kalam ajad first education minister in india in 1964 education commission under the chairmanship of dr d s kotari was set up in 1964 so 1964 to 66 they were in operation right RUSA is launched in 2013. The purpose of RUSA is strategic funding to the state higher education only, not the central institution. State higher education institution funding will be provided for the development purpose, not for the maintenance purpose. National Knowledge Commission established in 2005. Just now we have learned this. 2005. Gyan Vani is an educational FM radio network. Gyan Vani. Vani is saying radio. Vani means only audio will come, radio. Launched by IGNO. Gyan Darshan is a video. Next, report on the standards of educational system in 1965. 
is one of the this is 1965 standards on education system is indicating the problem which is there in indian examination system the problems of academic technical administrative problems of examination system total examination system what are the problems are included whether administrative problems of examination technical problems academic problems all these issues got addressed by this commission which is formed in 1965 there is a requirement of this type of commission is required in nta also so nta must appoint uh, this type of commission or the government of india must appoint on the academic technical administrative problems of examination system conducted by the nta like that they have to conduct they should appoint one committee what the committee will do committee will take chai biscuit finally they will give the draft bus the constitution of india provides right to establish educational institutions of their choice by all minorities as per the article number 31 right the constitution of india provides right to establish all the educational institution right to establish the educational institution of their choice by all minorities minorities as per their choice they can establish the institutions next is that in 1857 present a system of affiliated colleges is there now that is at the time 19 1857 what were the three colleges three universities got formed university of bombay university of madras university of calcutta these three were formed in 1857 those were the modern universities of british era these three universities started affiliation colleges to the university affiliation concept has been started by these three universities only that is the first time gian global initiative of academic network global initiative of academic network so that global initiative of academic network launched by government of india to encourage global scholars engage with the indian counterparts of indian counterparts so here we are inviting we are inviting other country scholars or we are going to other country uh, to uh, exchange a research knowledge mainly for the research gaining a research knowledge we are inviting a global scholars to india share their research insight what they are doing in india so what they are doing in their country how we are doing in india what are the differences are there that sharing will happen with, via this portal called as an gyan next aiu association of indian universities are established as per the consequence to the closure of inter university board so association of indian university established for the first time in 1923 1925 after that in 1967 not 67 1973 1973 what happened this association of indian university converted into an sorry this inter university board converted into an association of indian university which is a present name of it so this will be promotion of cooperation among all the universities in the field of education the problems the prospects and the solution the new 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 type of innovative thoughts will be shared and putting in front of the bodies right gyan darshan is an satellite based educational tv channel this is launched by igno same gyan vani gyan darshan both are by igno but gyan darshan is a satellite tv channel both audio video whereas vani was for only radio physical interaction is the instructional designs not part of the swayam launched by the government of india physical interaction is instructional designs are not part of not part of a swayam physical interaction is the instructional design not part of the swayam launched by the government of india next the present form of inter university board present form of inter university board that was previously established for promoting cooperation and coordination among the acha this was i think means okay. 1923 sorry 1925 it was association of indian university right by wait wait ulta it is
it should be ulta because present form of association of indian university previously it was previously it was inter university board in 1973 this inter university board converted into an association of indian universities so present form must be association of indian university that was previously for promoting cooperation coordination between all the universities okay no 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 present form is aiu association of indian university is a present name old first name is that inter university board clear that's about it by so this is the end of higher education higher education revision i hope you enjoyed a session with this session i have completed single liners revision of unit number one teaching aptitude research aptitude unit number two communication unit number four logical reasoning unit number six and ict unit number eight people and environment unit number nine unit number ten higher education except a mathematics data interpretation reading comprehension all the seven units single liners revision completed by me the playlist is available in uh, my telegram channel do join into achiever sadda telegram channel the link is given in the description and it is showing on the top also if it is if the uh, link is not working now just go and search it in an academy uh, go and search it in uh, telegram search box achiever sadda aa right thank you so much please do share with your friends and do subscribe to this channel press the bell icon do comment how you felt about this session so that it will increase and it will recommend to many members who are preparing for the same topic thank you good night to all tomorrow most important topic live all the national education policy 2020 related questions under single session with the important concepts of NEP 2020, I am going to align both PYQs and the concept and a single session, one hour session is going to be there. So, must attend that session also. Thank you so much. Tomorrow 9 p.m. as usual. <coughs>